<laughs> uh, that's me now, T. So, uh, <laughs> go again. <laughs> so, just finished our podcast there. My guest was Eleanor Lawless. Uh, you would know Eleanor as Dr. Stevie Nash from Casualty. Uh, we talked about her growing up, her young days, how acting, where she got inspired from. We talked pancakes. We talked holy statues. We talked uh, storytelling. We done a medical quiz. And uh, so if you want to sign up to our YouTube, we've nearly got a thousand subscribers. Take us over the land, good people. There's not many to go. Once we hit it, I'll let you all know. Thanks for listening to the podcast and keep on downloading them. Thanks a million. I'm Patty. Cheers. Welcome to the Voices from the Sperns. We have a very special guest uh, t- today and with us. Uh, actor, is it actress? I'm not sure what's the right word. You know the way today, I am so not bothered. But you know the way now it has to be. I'm just glad to have work. Right. So it's good to be working. <laughs> Actor, actress, just be I'll working. I'll be anything fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we, so a special guest today is Eleanor Lawless uh, from Ballon Screen Drippers Town. That's right. Thank you. And Thanks for having me, Patty. She has just flown in via a few ships and a few planes to That's get right. here. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be a long time to get her out. She's got jet lag. because she. <laughs> for people out there that don't know, there's a town called Mahara down the road. You did drive from there today yeah, that's to here. Right. Yeah. And there is a four scale wound outside. Yes. And you did get a bit of wooden. I battled you know, the hill. You battled the hill and you're here to tell the tale. I know. I know. It's beautiful. So... Uh, <laughs> Eleanor, thank you for coming on Voices from the Sperns. I know you were talking about, listening to some of them, you were talking about uh, Michael Trollin earlier on and Matt. That's right, yeah. So your old school teachers? Yeah, yeah, Master Trollin. Uh, I, I can't call him Matt. Uh, and even he, he called out to the house today. He said, you know, I said, right, bye, Master Trollin. And he was like, call me Matt. I was like, I can't. I know, um, I know. And I had to sort of face him face to face. And I was trying to figure out Master or Mickey and Matt. I went for the all grown up, Michael and Matt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, no, it's good. I suppose for yourself, uh, coming back home and... Uh, Meeting people again is it good for you? You know, because you're a busy lady now at the minute. No, I it's love. No, it's lovely. It's lo- uh, I um coming back home is uh, you know I took um I took my little boy uh, Joe, he's seven on uh, an Easter egg hunt today around the the rural college and like bumping into people that you know that I would have um, I hadn't seen since like primary school. That's late, You know, and and people don't it, you know people don't forget you here. You know, there's always yeah. that sense of. Um, that sense of connection. You never left, sort of thing. No, that's right. Yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah. you come back and you, you you fall into that rhythm, you know, yeah. that, that, that that you've always known. And your accent changes slightly. Oh, completely. Uh, you, know. you come from London, right? Because you, well, you had a London accent well, earlier on when I first spoke to you and so now you're funny. back. Like people are like, um, you know, a, a friend of mine, Margaret Keenan, she was like, God, you sound, you sound so English. And I was like, what? But like, she's like, no, you talk like that. And yeah. like, I was like, <laughs> but like oh, over there, they're like, yeah. what? What are you saying? Uh, um, do you have to change your accent over, let's say, lightly? In the world you're in, you know that. Yeah. Hello, darling. Do you know, you know. it's interesting. Like, I think um, there was, uh, when I was teaching, when I was doing, because I was doing a lot, a lot of supply teaching before, you know, before I got this this job and, yeah. and um, you know, uh, teaching in Kent and like, having to like sometimes, you know, alter my accents, you know, just to make it easier for the boys to yeah, understand, you yeah. know, like, so like turn to page eight, you know, yeah. turn to page eight. Um, <laughs> yeah. But do you think if you had it done your own accent, everybody would just turn at you? <laughs> you yeah. Know, not yeah. understand, you know, <laughs> you're going, yeah. get the page eight there. I know, no, and you no. don't realise how broad it is until yeah. you're, you know, there. until you're there. That's deadly. You know. And uh, so you're back home now, which is brilliant. And thanks for coming in. Because I know no, no said, problem. you're flat out. Uh so tell us a wee bit about your family, who, how many was in your family, who are they, and just so the people out there listening have a bit of an insight, you know. Yep, yeah, so uh, my mum, mum passed away a couple of years ago, so mum was uh, Breege, Breege O'Kean, yeah. um, who married my dad, who is Mickey Lawless, and mum is Draperstown woman, and dad is from Cookstown. Cookstown. Um, Tyrone meets So long Derry. distance relationship, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And they met in McAllister's pub. Um, one night, and I think I think Dad quoted I can't remember what film he quoted to her something like twenty nine and a school teacher, um, uh, because she was five years older. Oh, there you uh, go. And um, she didn't look it. No, no, yeah. she was, and she was. I think she was terribly offended. And um, <laughs> he, it was snowing that night, yeah. and um, they, you know, Mum, they, they live in Derry Noid, and she lives up the Bray, up Peter's Bray. 
I, I don't know why it's called it's Peter's Bray. Like the who, I, this is what I love about home. Yeah. Like well, could you want to explain? To, you want to explain to people out there? You know, like if, you know, maybe some of your friends are listening to this in England and going, well, like, "What's going on over there?" Well, well, I'll try and explain the bit. Because yeah. usually it's it's after somebody that lived there at one stage. Yeah. You know, Chevy's Corner. Yeah, Chevy's Corner. Yeah. 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 But these yeah. people never owned that part. And Johnny's Corner. Johnny's still living. Johnny's uh, there. But that'll always be Johnny. It'll Johnny, always be John, Johnny's Corner. Yeah, Burns's Corner. Johnny's yeah, Corner. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I suppose if if you think about then you were saying they met and then obviously yourself and... Yes. Yeah. David. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. They... Um, yeah, so... The, so the night that the night that dad met mum, he said it was it was snow and he couldn't get the van up the brae. And he said he remembers just the determination to get it. And uh, when he eventually got to mum's place, which is on Malnavu Road. So yeah. um, she said, just please don't wait my dad. And uh, he's like, why is he really strict? He said, no, no, he'll be up all night. Uh, and he was <laughs> so, he? so they had a sing song but that, like, that's that, uh, d- d- I suppose waiting up to see make sure everybody's home yeah 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 absolutely you know? yeah and like, and I think you know to all into, I, I only I remember I have a very very vague memory of my grandfather um, because he moved in then uh, with my auntie Teresa um, so you know when I when I grew up it was you know and, and, and it's still the situation now it's the two sisters live next door so mom Bridge and Teresa the, the youngest sister so there's a path between yeah. um, myself and and Anya um, was like my first cousin but yeah. you know has been local like, chemist local chemist yeah certain yeah. everybody's ailments yeah. yeah yeah local drug pusher Anya yeah. Kane. Official um, and, and legal. Yes, legal. legal. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's a good thing about chemists, that's, you know. That's very good. They're yeah. the only legal one in the world. Yeah. 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 And then that's a real family thing because obviously, because Lauren's and, and uh, so there's a. There's he owns a, a few. Yeah. And Laura, his daughter, yeah. knows, you know. <laughs> <She was going>. um, <laughs> <laughs> I should have been a chemist. <laughs> this is just the one like that. You know, who do we ring for the paracetamols? <laughs> one of the Lokians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And so. Uh, the rest of your family, your, there's yourself. Yeah, myself, and then uh, my brother David, who's three years older than me. Uh, David now lives just outside Cambridge. Um, and David works in the medical world too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot. Yeah. So um, I mean, there's a lot of like. Yeah, there's a lot. I think there's a kind of there's a mix in our family of kind of uh, the 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 medics, teachers. Yeah. Um, but I think the strand that you know, you know, particularly in my mum's family that unites. There's 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 a real love of. Uh, music and Creativity. gathering together yeah. and uh, yeah, and, yeah and and incredible incredible uh, eccentricity you know yeah yeah like, yeah yeah. Uh, um, yeah I know what you're saying yeah, yeah. and uh, and it's, I suppose people should know that uh, your mother was involved in music for years yeah in the local area yeah. of Palace Green yeah and, I mean she was a real wallflower like you'd never yeah. see her coming and straw school coming just to, yeah, completely diminutive as yeah. a character yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was a tough negotiator uh, oh my god yeah I know I was terrified of my mother um, but yeah mum was a real yeah a real advocate for yeah. you know yeah. um, and, and a real advocate for like just kind of I guess you know kind of being you know it was it was okay to be different you know yeah you yeah. know yeah your mother uh, recognised creative people and yeah. uh, sometimes it takes someone creative to notice that. I don't know if you'd agree with that or uh, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And, uh, and she did a lot of a lot of good things with young people in the in the parish and you know, in the like schools. She, yeah, she did involved yeah. in the choirs and different things. Yeah, and things she really, and really cared. But you know, she was like the, that was the real kind of uh, I guess that kind of teaching vocation. You know, she yeah. Was really and but uh, that's uh, I suppose beyond the teaching vocation because it's like Anne McAllister and people have gotten St yeah. Mary's and uh, Miss McSwigan over the years were. I talked down that they don't, you know, there was drama, there was singing, yeah. there was music. Like, I mean, how many primary schools can actually connect all them together now? And that I takes know. individuals yeah. down there to push that. It does, it yeah. does. You know, I, I would say, you know, um, and I'd say a, a lot of kids who went to straw schools, that's where I went to, you know, Father O'Hagan was a major kind of like advocate for like, he absolutely was music mad. And we, yeah. we did like a... You know, we had our kind of Christmas concert every year at the Bamba Hall, the massive Bamba Hall. Big time. You should tell people out there, this is a, a stadium to us. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. The yeah. Bamba is, you know, um, it the, is what the O2, 
you know, is to the stones. Yeah. Like it's, it's, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, they talk about famous venues. Yeah. Vamba. Yeah. Is yeah, the, the Bamba. one. <laughs> I and remember those concerts, even like Master Troll used to do, he used to put on like gymnastic shows. <laughs> so like, you know, part of the Christmas concert, the first 10 minutes was like gymnastics. Throw in bingo there. And then the nativity. Uh, <laughs> and the <a> draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Whoosh, there's a teddy for the draw. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> I know, it was just like, it was like, a, it was a real mixed bag of, of, of stuff. But like, just, you know, people who are, were really interested in, you know, in helping young people and nurturing talent. Yeah, like, you know. yeah. And, and obviously, um, that was your first, you know, uh, yeah. On stage. Uh, yeah. And, do, do, you know, for the benefits of that there, you know, for young people and maybe people listening here, um, do you feel it helped you? You know, it definitely was your, it, it, I think it's, it's getting here, the young ones performing, like there was uh, Aoife and Emma going down the day to perform in Reagan's and the, the early days they were just in that stage, head down, now they're doing their own set and they're playing at a wedding party or something. So yeah. do you think that sort of getting out early and getting in front of people, D yeah, de definitely. Um, and th this is why, like, even things like you know, uh, school plays and school productions, th those things are really, you know, particularly if you live in a very kind of small, um, kind of pr provincial area. Yeah, those things are like, like what you guys are doing here is groundbreaking in terms of like. Well, thank you. You know, if I like I had something like this uh, growing up, you know, it's even just that that place where you feel like uh, the one thing I definitely felt growing up was I always felt slightly <laughs> odd. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm sure some, so many people were going, no, you weren't. Uh, yeah. I definitely was. Uh, um, yeah. And uh, Because you, were looking, you, you were looking for something to find that thing. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. and having a community of people that you fit yeah. with. Yeah. You know, that's everything. You know, yeah. it's why people join bands, you know, yeah. it's what, you yeah. know, it's, it's... Camaraderie. Yeah. 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 And uh, I suppose um, them early days of, of being on stage and uh, some people do it and they're there for that one or two performances but people like you that was maybe the bug oh, completely yeah. um i mean i remember um i remember like my first uh it was um um the shout out to mrs mcglone uh we were doing fidelma yeah fidelma we were doing me and my teddy bear that was the i think i must have been five can you can you do a wee line from it is it um, coming back to you yeah it was like how um, long do we call in call in call in oh close yeah, yeah. Eyes. I, I do i remember vividly so it's like a me and my teddy bear got no worries got no care i love my teddy bear we'll play and play all day uh my god in a pair of brown tights <laughs> sure, look, and a look white at my vest eyes. look at my eyes there's an academy award about to happen here <laughs> i know i mean it's so it's that was so beautiful good. it's so beautiful i and, know and, i know and so that first time we missed the glowing and yeah that, yeah that gig. but i also i remember really vividly about that about that night <laughs> and anya i think was uh the same like there was some people in the class had like full-on teddy bear costumes but my mom was never that person. So I was in a white, my white vest and a pair of brown tights. <laughs> like, it probably is on video, you know. Yeah, yeah. It'll I'm, pop I, up I, someday. I, I'm pretty sure. You'll be in some yeah. talk show host someday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there it is there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at those tights. People, you can see this later on. Look at that there, Eleanor. Look how good it looks. If you want to get a glimpse of Eleanor Goals in her tights, stay tuned. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so th that was, uh, and th the same, I did Irish dancing for about uh, like 10 years. Years. And Mr. Kerrigan was a big part of like, yeah. you know, and um, I was always the kid who never had oh, these girls in these amazing like velvet costumes. And I never had a velvet. And uh, mom was like, I'm not curling your hair. Uh, uh, and they all, <laughs> every uh, one of these uh, massive uh, I was there with my straight hair. I was like, oh, uh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. But mom was like, you don't have to do that. I was like, I really, I really would like to, though, mom, please. Um, but uh, did it stop you going, keep on going no, back? No, 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 no. No, that's no. the one thing. <laughs> mom was like, um, I remember uh, going on stage one day to sing an Irish song and, I, and mom was standing by the side of the stage, just St. Columns Hall. And I was like, I don't feel well. I don't think I can go on. She went, get on that stage. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Toughen yourself up right away. <laughs> yeah. It's performance time. <laughs> but, you know, and then I'm, I'm glad she did. Uh, you know, yeah, a yeah. lot of, you know, there'll be a lot of kind of uh, child psychologists going, you know, you really shouldn't have done that. You should have gone down to the child's level, looked her in the eyes and gone, talk to me about how you're feeling right now, Ellie. <laughs> but she went, she, she didn't. <laughs> uh, you know, look, I've studied this for 15 years. I'm well aware. Have you any children? No, I haven't, but I, I've, got, I've got 14 masters on it. You know, <laughs> that's brilliant. And then, so you were saying about uh, uh, straw school. On what secondary school then did you, you went to, did you say? So, to, yeah, to so they went, uh, went to the convent. 
Yeah. Um, I, I, and I, yeah, and I really, I really, really wanted to go. I really wanted to go to the convent. I, I, I just like the, there was something in my head. <laughs> I was really into saints when I was younger. Uh, like that's, I the, went through. The, the, the guys? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A real, a real kind of phase of like uh, wanting to be a saint. Uh, like we used to get out every Friday, <laughs> me and all. Who's the big one? Who's the big one for you? Then? Um, St. Teresa of the St. Rose. St. Teresa there. Yeah, look at that camera the there. Just uh, look, see that camera there. St. Teresa of the Rose. St. Teresa of the Rose. St. Teresa of the Rose. And that's, good. that's a big one. That's a big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I did the statues and all. Yeah, yeah. God, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the night, yeah, yeah. I, um, I remember the night before, um, I think it was um, uh, one of one of the cousins' weddings. I remember standing in the rain with my my five my five aunts. So my mom and my four aunts. So th- three of them over from um, uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah. So it was Clet and Mary. Uh, mom and Teresa and it was absolutely um whacking it down the, the the rain was it was coming down heavy and it was the night before the wedding and they were all outside all of us standing around the infant statue of Prague <laughs> praying for good weather the next day because <laughs> that's what we were told it's like if you put the if you, put, if you pray to the infant uh, child of Prague you, know, you get good weather it's probably strange for people traveling the roads of Ireland to see this at the bottom of the garden yeah, the, yeah. The, and this creepy little statue as well uh, yeah. the, the infant and child did it of Prague work? The yeah, obviously. Holy smoking thank you, Joseph. It worked. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it did. Um, but I remember like standing around going, is this what Brian Freel felt like when he wrote Dance at Lunasa looking at his five crazy aunts? Kind of uh, going, what do I... <laughs> you know, I remember being struck by the madness of the yes, moment. Yes, You know, that yeah. kind of outside going, we're nuts. Yeah. And I, I love it. And, <laughs> as, uh, and how did you move on from the synths time, you know? Um... Yeah, well, the scenes was a big phase. Like I used to watch it. We we used to watch the song of Bernadette. Do you remember the, the black and white film, the song of Bernadette? We used to watch that like every every Friday night. It was, yeah, 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 it was pretty hardcore it, stuff. It was yeah, bigger yeah. than Dallas. Yeah, it was much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dallas was big then. Yeah, Dallas yeah, was really big, but not as big as the song of Bernadette. <laughs> there, you in our house. there you go. There you go. There you go. And what about you know? I, I suppose it's a time you're not wearing here now. It's a, it's a very religious time. Uh, yeah. For for. For Catholics and all, and mm-hmm. Easter and all that, there. And what way are you now? Have you have you found that it's all right to just be your own spirituality and yeah, pray I, I, your own way? Yeah, if that's all right to say. Yeah, I think um, I think I, I'm really like I'm really grateful for you know my my, my uncle David uh, uh, is a priest and yeah. you know and he's and um, a parish priest, a parish priest. Right, I, know, I know, I yeah. know, and uh, that sense of like. Um, uh, connection and community. It really struck me that the the day of Mum's funeral, like it's funny the things that you know that 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 get you, you know. But but um, it was still we were kind of coming out of COVID still at that time. Yeah. And we had a hundred tickets for this, like a, you know, yeah. like a funeral lottery. Like, yeah. a, who gets to make it? Right. You know, and that who was gets tough. the front pew? I was tough. That wasn't it for yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I and I remember um, on the day the day of the funeral, it was it was raining, and um, I remember walking with uh, my auntie Teresa and Ananya. Um, we were hand in hand. We we're walking down Derinoid Road, and the line of people that had come out to line the road, you know, as mum made her, you know, the, you know that yeah. final journey, yeah. you know, and these generations of families all connected, you know, through, through, through the church and through, mm. you know, that kind of, you know, that, and I, you know, and I like it's, and I was just absolutely um, blown away by, you know, I remember my cousin Roddy who'd come across from um, Glasgow at the time saying, you know, do you know what's crazy? Like, they didn't just run out when the car. That they'd been there. They'd been yeah. there waiting. Yeah, people. You know. Queue, yeah. And that I thought just that sight, that kind of mark, that kind of like tacit, unspoken connection and respect. Yeah, respect. That was just, and that was, you know, the beauty in that. And, I, and that's <clears throat> those are the moments for me where I feel kind of closer to, you know, to 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 to, to something like um, um, you know, those moments where you know you get a a, a room full of people who are singing a song together, yeah. you know, and it's that, that, you know, and, and, and what is it that links us? What is it that connects us in that, you know, yeah. uh, in that, and in that moment? And time. And yeah. Time. And if, well, I suppose I could say there on behalf of someone living in the uh, parish uh, that your mother and father were connected to St. Vincent and Paul. Yeah. And for people out there, St. Vincent and Paul is a charitable organization that yeah. uh, uh, they collect 
the things like furniture and, and yeah. food. And yeah. they were doing food banks before food banks even came on the scene. That's right. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, But when we say food banks, what I should say is uh, silently done. Yeah. Uh, delivered when it su- suited the people. Yeah. Uh, and your mother and father and uh, Julia McQuigan. Isn't That's that right? right. Yeah. Ran yeah. it for and years. Jim, yeah. And Jim. And uh, I suppose uh, the people have helped. Uh, um, it's been, I mean, you're talking hundreds of people, probably thousands of the time, you know, because they've done it that long. Yeah. And that you put that into play. You put into play that your mother was a teacher that retired yeah. and went back and started helping again in the school. Uh, your family, the O'Kane family, the interconnection throughout the parish. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, what that was, was people from all uh, different parts that your mother uh, and and your father and uh, especially your mother and her journey uh, have affected in positive ways. And, uh, and yeah. then people uh, would only, and I know that that's from people that have been helped. It's, it's just, it's so good. Yeah. It's such a good organization. And uh, I know it's got a name, <laughs> the saints again, yeah, yeah. but uh, it's a, uh, it's a saintly thing that St. Vincent de Paul do. They've helped so many people and your mother was part of that. And uh, I think that uh, people listening should know that, uh, that that's a legacy that will be there forever. Yeah, you know? that, that's the thing, you know, like the, there's, a, you know, we've lived through tough times in terms of like the, the, the press that the, the, the church gets. and But people don't see that, you know, like the, the, the unspoken goodness that yeah. you know that permeates throughout yeah. through you all, know. all peoples. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what religion they are. There's good people out there, and there's people from every religious background doing good stuff as we sit here now. Yeah, uh, uh, of the same kind of you yeah, know, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, when there's something, I suppose, when there's a, a time of uh, sadness or need, the church seems to get attra- attracts more people there. Yeah, uh, but as you say. Over the years, things have changed, but everybody has their own way of approaching it. Yeah. And uh, I think your mother and father were good time Catholics, like my own mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. style, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Prayer books. Yeah. Beads. Yeah. Uh, can statues everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Bow, yeah, yeah. Holy water whoosh, on your <laughs> yeah. head. Yeah. Do you yeah. know? Do you I pop will... it on before you go and do a scene there? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've still, I've still got my. I got a bottle my, out there with you know, on me. Nathan yeah. says, dry up your and face. And every lad. every car yeah. that I have, make sure that my uncle David blesses it. You know, oh, and, does he, and I have the motorist's prayer in my ah, uh, in, that's uh, uh, in my car. That's you know, if I, we're going through uh, mum stuff today, but you know, I haven't done like this like after two years. Yeah. And I, I find a prayer which was called Prayer to Prevent Falling. <laughs> I was like, that's brilliant. Um, absolutely brilliant. But yeah, but like my um I think too, growing up, um, you know, and, and I never really knew if it was kind of spe- specific to Balna Screen or because you know you only kind of know your own little corner of the universe, yeah, don't yeah. you? And but the one that the like one of the things that um I definitely think kind of growing up in uh you know, an Irish Catholic home um kind of taught me as well is kind of how to face and embrace death you know like yeah. uh, in a way that do you know that your cousin Brian was the first ever uh coffin that I'd ever there you go say, you know say, yeah. like and that was an early age you know like yeah. uh, but there's a kind you know there's a kind of a like a like a um a relaxation and 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 pragmatism yeah. around yeah you know I think it's it's people it's it's an Irish thing yeah uh, I, I do think you're I think you're right because uh, it's I, I don't know if it's done because I know that you know and that's not to say that anybody does it any different but mm. it, it's just that thing that uh People come, they they get together, they tell stories about the person. So it's yeah. it's nearly a part of a two day legacy of stories and crack and I mean and people w- probably wake thinking, houses are amazing. Yeah, people probably think don't be laughing, but it, no, it is some a, of the best times I've ever had with this. That's uh, that's a, a weird uh, t shirt. Uh, some of the best times I've ever had have been awake. Yeah, but but yeah. but it is. I think because everything is so heightened as well. You yeah, know, emotions are so heightened. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've I've had some like amazing. You know, but when my uncle Tom. Day, you know, my great uncle, the um, mom's uncle Tom, he he insisted he was like, you know, afterwards he wanted everyone to gather uh, in in the the, ba- the bank bar and have a party. Yeah, and that's exactly what we did. And and to celebrate. And to celebrate. Brilliant, brilliant. You know? And so, in 
uh, secondary school. You went yeah. to convent. Sorry, I went straight to death, didn't I? No, you're all right. You're all right. No, it's okay. I just want to tell people we've just written up again because it's Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep that on. Because <laughs> uh, I, I know that the, the Jesus squad make me happy. Uh, but so you went to, <laughs> they will keep it on. Uh, so, so secondary school, the big lights of uh, Marafelt, uh, Marafelt, yeah. uh, uh uh, the convent, one of the biggest schools in the area, yeah. uh, over a thousand pupils now, I think. Uh, yeah. Stella went there too. Uh, yeah. That's why you're so posh speaking and all that there, yeah. <laughs> Did you have a lot of nuns when you were there, Stella? We had a few. I said, we didn't, uh, we only, I only got like the tail end of the nun, that sounds so weird. Uh, um, I only got like the kind of the, the, the last vestiges of the, you uh, know. We had Sister Immaculata, she was her head. Yes, yeah. And then we had Sister Anne. Um, no, I never had Sister Anne. Had, she was lovely. She was good crack. Sister Anne Marie, no? No, there was Sister Anne Marie as well. Yeah. It might have been like, she did she do, Sister Marie did French? Yes. Sister, Sister Anne, Anne Marie. Marie. Yeah, she was a wee. Yeah, she was kind of very, very yeah, small. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sister Anne was the best. She would have us running about and doing star jumps to mm-hmm. warm up. That's and brilliant. All sorts of things. Yeah. And wouldn't let us wear paint and shirt, shirt shoes. <laughs> too, too, too much. Yeah. Two. Here's the boys seen up our skirts. Oh my, <laughs> that's brilliant. Clark's magic steps. Oh. <laughs> Three steps to heaven. <laughs> so anybody, yeah, that was the comment. Anybody out there listening in the comment, you'll take get, off those patent uh, shoes, uh, lady. Uh, uh, so you'll exactly what know what's happening there. Uh, all the boys uptown go, oh, big long skirts. Uh, <laughs> As if the boys would even know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you wear a great pair of patent shoes or uh, good old uh, looks on it. Jules, I'll tell you. Shine them up there. <laughs> so, you know, in the comment, uh, so what about there? Was there any. Um, you know, you had a few, as you say, smaller parts in the primary school, and then yeah. you went to the convent. Was there any acting there for you, or singing, or? Yeah, do you know the first the first thing I did um, at the uh, at the convent? We did this we did this competition called the the Slogu competition. It was like uh, so, and that the um, the finals and stuff were around. I think we were Wicklow or Waterford, but that was an Irish speaking drama. You know, event, event. Wow. and we did. Um, I think it might be a Tolstoy play, Michael. So, so Michal. Um, that we did. Um, oh, Michal. <laughs> Michal. Do you need to back home? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I played a part called Anushka. Um, that Irish name. <laughs> Where's Anushka? I can't see her. Cowell to Anushka. August. Uh... It sounds like a kid voice song. Anushka, Anushka. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Uh, so sorry. Go ahead there. No, so we did that. We did. Uh, I, I remember. Uh, um, so getting to do this, you know, um, this and, you know, learning it all phonetically, not having a clue, like, and, yeah. uh, but just loving being, but loving being part of it. It was, there was uh. three, there was three of the, like the, or three or four upper six in the cast and I'm probably second year. So yeah. like looking up to these girls who, uh. you know, and they were like, really like, you know, there was Aideen Carmichael who's from Balance Screen. She yeah. was like really arty, you know. Yeah. Jeez. And I was like, you know, I was like, oh my god, you know, like I get to be part of this. Uh, you're you from know? my town. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, and the, you know, the, yeah, and she did A level art, you know, which uh-huh. was like incredibly exotic, you know. <laughs> and her walk would have been. Yeah, it was. She had nailed that walk. But like, I was, you know, when you're second, you're like, oh my god, these are the older girls, and getting to be part of, you know, feeling like you're part of a company. Yeah. You know, that was. Yeah. Um, that was like a real Anya was in that too. Um, she made every uh, cut. Uh, Anya, she was in. Yeah, yeah. Anya uh, the chemist too. Anya. The chemist Anya. Uh, yeah. She knew where the money was, didn't she? Well, and, do you uh, know, we were. I remember like, even at primary school, we read this play. It, no, that no, wasn't a play. And it was a novel called um, uh, "Underneath the Hawthorn Tree," which is about the fam- the Irish famine. And there we you used go. we used to play. That's what we used to play when we were kids. We used to go out to the lane at the side of the house and we used to play Famine. Famine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she played a uh, character of Peggy because um, Anya was thinner. So uh, she was a uh, more conceivable blight victim. Uh, and I she played... could hit hard. She could hit yeah, hard. Yeah, she absolutely. She could hit hard. She yeah. was going down that. Down that. Oh, I, I was more like, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she, well, she died know. every game. So every, uh, it always, it always you, ended up. And did you hold her? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I was Eilie. So I was like the surrogate. the mother. So their parents had died, obviously, because uh, of the famine. And I was like the kid, you know, I was the mother figure. And yeah, so we used to play. That's what we used to. We used to look. That was our like favorite game growing up was famine. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, people have been looking at things. Oh, what about uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland or any of them cool? Oh, well, it's it is yeah. it is you know it's like going out you know going outside to play genocide. It's like uh, it's a weird thing uh, to do, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, but it did but happen. A, we had a great time. Or let's it, go outside and play COVID. You know. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll for, get the masks. Funny you mentioned yeah. that there, just beside us that wee house. 
Yeah. Uh, it was a, fa- was a famine house. Uh, really? Back in the day. Yeah. Don't say that. That's there so you are. And That's apparently, where I'll be next. Uh, there you are. <laughs> Anya, get here now. <laughs> uh, Anya, where are you? Come in. Get uh, the costumes. <laughs> we've got the script half writ. It's the script half writ. It's half writ, mm-hmm. isn't it? It's half writ. She only has to appear and just, because she's, you know, That's done. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no words to say. No, no nothing. <laughs> she's, disappear. You know, she just <laughs> wave like. Brilliant. Yeah. So you got inspired in the convent. Uh, and as I say, you, there was. There was plays you were in, yeah, and um, yeah, and um, and actually, the first ever, like the the first, like, the big production that they did at the convent when I was, was there. So, um, my uh, so Auntie Una took over. She she became principal after so, after Sister Maculata, and uh, they did a production of My Fair Lady, and that was like that was you talk about like a highlight of like you know life at school being part yeah. of and I get you know it is the equivalent of like kids who get part to be part of a band you know like yeah. you're part of the cast uh, you know? yeah like uh and you you behave differently because you're like it's yeah. like a you know a wee badge yeah like you know we're just like oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's okay you, we're staying late because yeah. we're in the play yeah, yeah. You know? slushies <laughs> slushies all around yeah for the cast yeah and the, and the canteen was still open a bit later you know because uh, we were in the play oh there you go they, <laughs> you know did you get extra wee cakes and custard or, yeah you know, absolutely uh, yeah or was in some kind yeah. of diet me obviously not on you uh, <laughs> but um yeah poor on you like she need, I'm going to buy her an Easter cake we will buy get her a Mars bar right <laughs> Two Mars bars after us, <laughs> yeah. we're going to get them to it. I'll yeah. drop them over to her. I want her gone. part. <laughs> I, I'm, going to, I'm seriously going to drop them over when this comes out. I never out. got to die. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> so, that big, so you say being part of that uh, unit as such uh, cast. Yeah. Uh, so, was it there that you decided that, oh, I want to be an actor, actress? Uh, I, do you know what? I, I knew from a really early age that's what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah. I don't like, I didn't want to do anything else. That's yeah. like, I knew that's what I wanted to do. Like, I, like, I, um, I grew up watching like my dad uh, and 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 my, my uncle David massive film buffs. You yeah. Know? So I remember like watching ET for the first time and being like, just that that moment where you realise that something that isn't real can affect you. Yeah. And so yeah. much and watching movies and feeling like you know like like feeling like you've been changed on a it's gonna say molecular level, yeah. like you know and for the the power of a film to completely transport yeah. you. And, yeah. and, I, and I remember watching like, um, was it Lana Turner who did Imitations of Life? Like I remember like lying in, in, in bed with mom and she'd be like having a cigarette on a Saturday morning. We watched like a black and white film. I wasn't having a cigarette. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I love you were this mom. A, you were having a whiskey. <laughs> you, were, you were having a wee whiskey. A wee dram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smoked yeah. my allergic to happen. <laughs> yeah. But I still, she is like smoking and we were watching like the, we'd, we'd watch like the, the Saturday morning used to have a black and white film on yeah. Imitations of Life was like one of my, I absolutely loved that film. And, um, just feeling like, you know, that you, your life, I remember like the, the, the first film I saw in the cinema was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Um, I was actually looking at the people making out in front of me more than I was watching the film. I was like, uh, uh, were they being naughty? Oh, what is this? What are they doing? What, what are they it, doing? Was, That was my St. Teresa phase. So I've, I was like, I've completely covered judgmental. my ears. Look, I've covered my ears. I'm like, here, not on here. It's serious. There was curtain like, below. I had my dad on one side of my brother here. Uh, and I was like, I know, oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and uh, there was a wee bit of curtain going on. But so not only did you go and see a film, you seen a first be a bit of curtain it was a life experience that, that night you know right nothing now. was the same after that <laughs> <laughs> anything goes what in, is this world <laughs> anything goes in Irish cinemas by the way <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah yeah so, yeah Cookstown very very and, uh, so filthy. your love of films um, that I suppose from an early age because I would have known you from an early age with my mum and you know I yeah, should say like yeah uh, you, and like your your uh, your mum and Ve- and, and, Ve- Vera, and Vera yeah, there was like, a double babysit joint yeah, approach yeah yeah, the, yeah absolutely and um and like we're just gonna, we were talking about we're talking about your mom today, like because we were just saying about my auntie Teresa. Like Teresa has like so much patience. We're just saying, just like Bernie had, <laughs> just an unbelievable amount of patience, you know. And Vera and Mickey were the same, yeah. They you were, know, yeah. like and um, they just like really just like good good people. And and again, they kind of incur. You just there was you you had r- room and space to be a kid. You yeah, know? yeah. Room and space to be. You know. We definitely weren't living through a safe garden period, uh, you know, where it was like uh, everyone's was, health and safety now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like, I, God, I, I think, I think Vera and Mickey looked after me and David for a five or a week. There you go. Isn't that shock? Like, there you go. But that maybe back sorry, then, <laughs> back then, it's all right. You can, 
uh, when there's a Hollywood block, blockbuster, I'll put it out here now. Just in ten years, ten maybe they're kin, maybe they're know, relations. We're, we're uh, uh, we'll put about fourteen hundred thousand percent on it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to you five hundred pounds. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, so no, that was just uh, as I say, your young days growing up, and uh, when I would have first known you, and. Uh, so university then, did you, did, with university, did you stay here? Did you go to the, the Republic of Ireland? Yeah. Did you go to the UK? No, I, no, I, sta- I stayed here. I was a real home, home boy. I, I should also mention when I was, as I, as I was growing, like through that time as well, um, I did a lot of storytelling with them. So there, um, and, and de- so definitely one of the big influences on my life was a woman called Liz Weir. And, um, She's a storyteller from here. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. So and Liz, um, and what was um, lovely about storytelling, it was a, it was you know in the sense of it was real kind of cross community. You know, there's the, the you, you didn't there was a real kind of Catholic and Protestant community. So it was yeah. it was very kind of non sectarian and kind of yeah. you know. So you know, and I I was do you know I'd been doing venues like Newton Arts and kind of uh, going off to Dublin to do um, stories for this that you know, the yeah. other. I went to Boston to do. Um, Boston. Do, I went to Boston to do a job. Yeah, you know. So the Irish, we were waiting on you. It was hard times, you know. Yeah. But you know, but it was it was the great. The price of butter, milk was shocking. <laughs> yeah, I love cheese. I love, cheese, I love you Boston. love your cheese because they're like cheese. you know you want coffee. They, <laughs> I remember that, I remember doing this job in Boston. They were like, um, "Hey, we're gonna go and do a Starbucks run. Do you want a Starbucks? I don't know what a Starbucks was. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, I'll right. <laughs> have a tea, please. Thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so storytelling really, yes. um, like you know, it, I, like I, it took me to you know to to, to England and to Wales yeah. and Scotland. So it was like so. And that, did that strengthen your sort of um, uh, what's the word? What I'm looking for? Uh, like your uh, pronunciation of words and uh, the delivery. Yeah, like I, Is I, it, it, similar? it definitely kind of you know it it um, it. It definitely taught me a like a, 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 a and and it's, a, this is something that you know, that, that my mum and you know and, and my mum's um, my mum's family as well like my auntie Clet and and my uncle David you know they're they're writers as well you there know you and I love a language and uh, yeah. and um, and a love of communication you know like yeah. you know and a love of sharing like sh- that kind of Shanaki tradition you know where yeah. you where where you are you know that oral tradition of you know which the, which started with like. Well, you know the Greeks, and you know it's yeah. like you know the idea yeah. of the bard and 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 sharing story and, and the Irish, and how Irish sort of culture, arts and legend, or you know culture that and the stories that comes out of that. Well, there. yeah, myths and know, legends. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, yeah, because we had grown up with like you know um, Finn McCool and Keith and yeah. you know Ferdia at the Ford and all yeah. all that kind of st- you know yeah. all that stuff. You know, and 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 those and and family stories. Like I remember my mom like when we were kids telling me the story of like, when she was in Cyclo- Cyclone uh, Tracy back in nineteen seventy four for uh, Christmas Eve in Darwin in Australia and I remember like loving her telling those to those, yeah. those stories yeah. you know and, and how story was just so was so important and alive yeah and yeah. like yeah and I love yeah. and it definitely it definitely taught me an appreciation of um of audience and that connection between the performer and the audience yeah you know and, and, and the responsibility you know that you have um and the emotion you know, too, I suppose a few reading the story there um Obviously, stories like like words are, are powerful. Yeah. And when you would have been doing that, you know, were you feeling it? You, could you cry at times? Did you cry at times? You oh know? yeah, definitely. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I remember like a particular there was a, there was a, um, a Clancy um, a Tommy Makem story about um, uh, uh, this. You know, the based on the kind of the Selkie tradition. You know, like the 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 people coming from the sea, the seal people coming from the sea, living yeah. up on land, and the, there was this story I remember telling. And it was it was all about this was a story all about self sacrifice. You know, and um, and being like the first time I heard it, being incredibly moved. You yeah. know, and watching, yeah. and then when you watch that, when you, when you watch people, when you kind of take on that story and become the teller, then watching people being moved in the same way. Yeah. You know, that's that's just that shared experience. Yeah. You know, and art does. It. And that's what art is. Art is it's you know it's a sh- you know it's you know, a it's, picture, a story, a it, song. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it just you know. does that. You know, it's it's a connection, isn't it, between yeah. somebody you've met ne- be- between you and somebody you've never met. That's it. And that's, that's it. like yeah. that's there's a real beauty. You it's know, a magic, in that. magic it's energy. To- it's totally yeah. magic, yeah. and that, that's the way I, I would have felt. You know, you know, when I watch when I watch a um, a film, you know. It's a magic, you know, some, yeah. something happens, yeah. you know, like something happens where you think, um, I, I remember watching, um, I think it was, 
maybe The Goonies for the first time. Yeah. You know, and you <laughs> so know, because yeah. Spielberg were so like that. Those films yeah. were so synonymous with it, or, or Jaws. You know. Yeah. Like, like, uh, but I remember watching like uh, maybe The Goonies for the first, and just kind of going, "My life will never be the same." You know, like, <laughs> you know, you just, you just can't think life will never, there's uh, a little part of me that's yeah. been shipped, like shifted. But art's allowed to go to them places, isn't, you know, and, yeah. and, 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 uh, and take that sort of, it's, I suppose, like, I suppose what I'm mm -hmm. thinking now about is like theatre, you know, for yeah. yourself. Uh, you were saying about the storytelling and all. Did theatre come along then? Pre, yeah, before go to like TV and the theatre was. Oh yeah, yeah. So mo most of my kind of back, you know, this. I mean, like uh, most of my back. Because I read it was all be about theatre. Theater, yeah, know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I and, and they I, bigged you up. Some of the write ups, they bigged you up. I know. As a multi talented uh, uh, storyteller, uh, uh, could write comedy scripts. <laughs> you know, have it all and, and uh, all. The, you know, so all them different parts. Uh, so do you want to decipher that and, and start to explain how, like for, like for I think sometimes uh, the voices in the spare and, and the small but massive podcast I've done and talking to anybody, it's good to hear a story about, um, you know, what it was like yeah. in there for people. And then, you know, just if people are looking and maybe thinking about it. And, yeah. 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 So maybe hopefully this will be a story to, you know, to give people hope. I didn't get my first, like, you know, casualty came along when I was 39, Yeah, you know. And I hadn't, you know, let's just say I hadn't had a job that that um, could keep me alive <laughs> up yeah, until yeah, that yeah, point. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that's very much like uh, music people and actors. I and, couldn't and, let it go. Yeah, because you had it on just there. Couldn't let, I yeah. just couldn't let it go. I yeah. just couldn't. There was just something every time, like, I thought. And I and I really, I did. I really, I, I envied, you know, mates who'd made the decision to to, to walk away and to yeah. go, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. This is like, this is the, that, you know, you know, mates who'd be, maybe booked a holiday and their agent calls with that, you know, one thing and it's like a week on something and they go, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to cancel the holiday. Uh, I can't, you know, uh, because you're like, oh, what if this is, you know, and it's, it's a real, there's a real kind of gambler addiction in it too. Cause you're like, what if this is the next, you know, um, yeah, uh, the, the script in front of you could be the next thing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, so for you in theatre then, was theatre like, I suppose, like a learning platform or a lifeblood or, you know, because obviously you would have done all the different parts and there's so yeah. much different theatre out there. Yeah. Uh, so what was your wee niece? Was it musical theatre? Was it, you know? Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't do much, um, much musical theatre. I did uh, more like plays with music, yes. which is that, you know, that kind of, that musical, you know, musical theatre to, to, to kind of succeed in musical theatre. And, and I've got mates who have done really well. You have to have that, ah! voice uh, you know that you know uh, and i and i just my voice is is, is quite folky do you know what i mean it's uh, quite um because you're from here because i'm from here it's in the know? blood yeah, oh, yeah 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 you can't be doing that in some big fancy place no no, no 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 <laughs> yeah you know? so that, that kind of clean belt sound is <laughs> real specific. and it's amazing like you know uh, like people talk about head voice and chest uh, voice and i'm uh, like what um <laughs> But I, so I, I did a lot of Shakespeare when yeah. I, when I, um, yeah, because I read something about that there and yeah. is that not really hard, you know, or is that something every actor has to go through, is that? Do you know, I think it's, I actually think Shakespeare and, and maybe people won't believe when it, but because it's, because it's the way of it's, it's written, because of the rhythm, because of the iambic pentameter, it actually, it goes in, you know, it's, it's learning prose, learning kind of like, is, 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 is trickier, you know, yeah. whereas actually learning Shakespeare, when it's in, it's, it's there because it's poetry, you know. There you go. And so there's a rhythm, there's a rhythm to it that makes, that then starts to make sense. How do you learn all the lines, just, you know, for curiosity? Is it, do you learn it like, I always, maybe not, is it like a song where you sing it enough and you can get it or yeah, is, there a, is of, there a form? You kind of make like, you know, if you've got, you know, for, you make, if you've got a tricky bit of text to learn, you know, you rely on you know the, the the filthiest things in your head to connect to that. Well, if I think about that, then I do that. That yeah, that links to that. Okay, and that sounds that that word sounds. Is that the meant? Fart, is that so the way I it's meant to be? It. Like sort of fart and tart and. I, yeah, I th I think the more ridiculous, the easier it is to uh, you know the more yeah. ridiculous you can make the connections in your head. Yeah. The the you know you think like I, I think about the way I used to like remember things for school like you yeah. know like you know the the whether it was the you know um. British prime ministers of the the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah, mean like you yeah. have to, you know, you find you find ridiculous ways to to make things. Uh, fit or yeah, work. yeah, yeah, to make things stick. And is it something that uh, uh, actors be sort of um, graded on by doing Shakespeare and things like that? You know, I or is it just? I think there is a you know there. 
it's re- it's interesting, you know, like people, you know, people who maybe work in theatre go, you know, theatre is where it's at, actually. You know, it's actually you know, I'm not much more in theatre than I am on TV. I had a scarf, I was, only it's not here, because through the scarf on, you know. You know, yeah, yeah and yeah. it's just, you know, like, but you haven't done theatre, darling, you haven't. Uh, but, you know, I always think that maybe there's just people who've worked in theatre and <laughs> can't break into telly, do you uh, know what I mean? Because uh, it's so hard to kind of, uh, but um, yeah. I, I think, I, I, I love theatre and I've had some um, like uh, amazing moments even as an audience uh, uh, at the theatre. I mean, a play, a play for me that really um, I think changed a, a lot of things was it was a David Ireland play. He's a Belfast writer and I did a play called The End of Hope at the Soho Theatre. And um, and that that thing, you know, got a, a kind of a new agent, ba- you know, based off the back of that, of that, that play and that kind and every now and then a play will come along and I read that part and I was like, well, I know how to do that. Yeah. I can, that, 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 that's me. I, I can do that part. Yeah. I know how to do that part. Yeah. You know, and, um, and you know, every now and then <clears throat> a part comes along and you go, yeah, I know, I know how to do that part. Um, but I remember, I remember mom and coming do, to does, say it. Does people send you stuff like thinking you're, you would fit the part or is it just your agent? No, I you wish to? I was at that stage. Mm. I wish I was Bernadette Cumberbatch. You know, I've been sent a few scripts. Uh, <laughs> Bernadette Cumberbatch. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. Because just in case any of your English friends are watching this going, who's this fucking loose Irish boy talking to me in the camera? Benedict Cumberbatch. Ber- <laughs> <laughs> My mother's called Bernadette, right? So I'm going to get tongue-tied in this. Cumberbund. Uh, <laughs> so Bernadette Cumberbatch. Is that, is that his name? Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, Benedict. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. All right, that's okay. So Pope Benedict Bum- Cumber- Cumberbatch, Cumber- Cumber- the ninth. The ninth. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if he's listening, you know, you know, get him. Uh, Hello, Benedict. Uh, uh, we'll give a call out to Killian Murphy because he's quite famous at the minute. I know, right? Oh, Killian. Could I say to Killian. you, could I just say that I was in a movie that Killian was in? <laughs> People are looking here what, now. What was it? Oh, hold back. People are looking in there going, what is he going to say was now? Was it the one that shakes the barley? No. Uh, Love that film. Uh, <laughs> Breakfast in Pluto. Mm. Yeah, that that film really, that was a real turn. It like, made me really famous, yeah. actually. That's why I'm here now. We call you Pluto Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Pluto. Uh, uh, no, I was, uh, I know it sounds strange, but uh, I think I was the only person, I don't have them on now, but at that time, when I landed down to, uh, I'd heard that they were looking people along here, uh, and they're, all I wanted to do was see how is a movie made, okay? Yeah. And uh, so I landed down, uh, Stella took me down and it was in the middle of nowhere, way down County Antrim, I think, maybe somewhere. And it, it was an old, uh, uh, like, hall and they took it over. And uh, my role, I was taking, I just landed late, I was taking down this field and uh, we queued all up. I thought it was going to be shot, like we just queued all up, right? And uh, so we queued all up. And uh, I love our Irish pessimism. <laughs> Aye, and, uh, this we, is it now. We queued all up. <laughs> this is the end of party. And we queued all up and... Uh, that was all right. Uh, oh, what is calling the producer now? It's left my head. Uh, Neil Jordan. Neil Jordan. Yes. Neil Jordan pops out of one of the wee, you know, the wee silvery things you would have, the wee the car. Hello, Winnebago. Uh, mm. And he popped out. In trailer. And he walks up and down. And uh, so there was two parts. There was the part where you had to sort of be a countryman and uh, lose the bap. There was a scene where they were going to burn this hall down and there was a bit of activity, you know. And uh, so uh, I laughed at the person they picked for the country <laughs> accent so he came up to me and he says what are you laughing at and I said yeah, guy there's not a country man I'm a country man and he says he looks me up and down and says you can be a doorman and now I laughed thinking ah, you know the doorman now <laughs> <sighs> They've got all these Mr. Incredible bodies, you know, and they probably put you out by touching their finger and, oh, I'm going to sleep I'm sleep in there Paddy you fall asleep and uh, so I says look at all the size of me he says there was no Walker, Chris, Bellies, and them days, son, you'll do the job. So <laughs> I was a doorman. I had to come out all tough and all. And uh, I was actually in a wee dance scene at the back. Uh, the, you can't see me now. Actually, you can't see me at all. It goes oh, like... Oh, now whoosh. I want to see it. It's like... Whoosh, whoosh, I'll see and it. Whoosh. So what I wanted to say was that when it came to the dress rehearsal, they just I just wore my own clothes. They just let me <laughs> wear my own clothes. So I hadn't fallen out of the 70s, you know, so that's when that was set. So, and... Uh, I did say hello to uh, Killian Murphy. You probably not remember me, lad, but uh, <laughs> you were not far away from me eating old rice and beef. What do you call the famous meals you get in them outtakes? They're like rice and oh, yeah. beef and curry and 
Oh yeah, yeah. They're not there's not too catering. Extra, yeah, catering. It's Love called catering. Yeah, and uh, so no. it was not. But what I would ch- say to you, as a member of this thing, this lady walked up and says, "Are you a member of Equity?" And I thought this was some kind of insurance company, right? So I says, "No, I'm not," because she thought because I wasn't an actor, mm. I shouldn't have been in the movie. Stop mm. it! Who was this woman? I don't know, but she didn't get on, so she didn't get a part. You know, she was yeah. obviously just, but she was she was annoyed. Better and better. The man, I think it was, I'm not sure it was Dan something, that wrote the book. He was there too, yeah. and uh, had we chat to him. So that's my movie. That's all over. I didn't get any awards like Cumberbeast. And so and yeah, that's I just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> and uh, so. It, it was something that I uh, always wanted to see happen, you know, uh, only a few scenes, there was a few motorbike scenes and different things happening, but uh, it was really good to see it in action, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So for the likes of yourself then, you were saying there, you you teach, because I read you teach and you, mm-hmm. were doing, you were doing Shakespeare workshops, is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing, yeah. And was that out with kids in schools? <clears> and yeah, I did a lot of kind of like a kind of workshop kind of facilitation stuff and yeah. um, and definitely and a, a lot through this, through storytelling as well. Yeah. Got a lot of that work, Brilliant. you know, Brilliant. and um, and then it was, um, I did um, some kind of uh, writing for, um, there's a, a great, uh, Panto Production Company, uh, Captivate Productions or Wicked Productions, um, in Kent, and I did I do like started to do some writing with them and did and did a bit of kind of uh, did did did, did uh, played a witch in one of the Pantos, um, and Panto was a great um, was a great experience, and um, that's the one thing I will say. Like I I, I love I love theatre and and I and I um like uh, and I, I've loved the theatre that I've, that I've um that I've been in. Um, it's, it's just the price of theatre, you know, it's like that, that's what can be quite, um, I think disillusioning sometimes, you know, yeah. you know, like, uh, you, you see the price of, uh, uh, of a ticket to, you know, um, to see something in the West End, you know, when you're talking about like, you know, upwards of 80 quid, yeah. you know, um, yeah. and it's double, you know, double, triple that in Broadway. If you want to see a Broadway musical, you wow. know, you're talking about two, 300 quid for, you know, if you want yeah. to go and see Hamilton, like, you know, when it was kind of at its peak, yeah. you know, you're talking about, you know, $200 and, plus seats. And, and, and do you think it's, uh, it's outpriced the ordinary person to go? Yeah, you know? I think, I think, th- I think for me, that's why, you know, it's, you know, it, it's why I do, you know, um, why I, I, I do love, um, a TV and film because it can be accessed, you know, pretty much by anyone. Everyone, you know? yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. that's, I think that's really, I think that's why, I think that's why music, for example, a, a, as an art form, is incredibly um, successful and important because, you know, a song is for everyone. You know, yeah, there's yeah. Um, even if you can't experience it live, you know, you can, you know, even you know the wireless back when you were like, yeah. like a kid, you know, that, that it it came to you. And definitely growing up, there was no sense of theatre coming to me. You know, it was yeah. like, you, 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 you know, you had to go to it. And, you know, if you grow up in certain places or you don't or you don't have the money or you don't have it, yeah. that, that can be really that can be yeah. really tough. So you know? that's very interesting. So uh, has. Uh, well, obviously not for you and other uh, people that's uh, probably be in uh, the show with uh, casually with you at the minute. But do you think that uh, that. Only the sort of well healed as such richer can stay in there for that I, that stage. Uh, I think you know. I think the hard thing is uh, you know because I I am all for and I mean you know I I I love the idea of a, a, anyone being able to work their way up. You know, and yeah. I, you know, like because you you've know, done it. I've done. My uncle Lawrence yeah. did it. You know, yeah. he came from he came from nothing, and and I think to have aspiration is really important. Yeah. You yeah. know, I'm definitely. You know, I think it's um, potentially damaging to get into the mindset of you know, well, lucky for some. You know, uh, uh, that can be a you know, I think to, to have yeah. to have aspiration because it's a waste to, of your energy. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and and I. You know, and I, you know, and that's something that I, that I want to, you know, to teach, you know, my son, you know, it's like, yeah. you know, if, you, you know, one hopes that if you, if you work hard enough and, 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 and you want it and you're good to people and, you know, that this, this idea that good things can, can, can Karma. Come. Yeah. And I, yeah. and I, and I, and I want, I want to live in that world. I don't, yeah. I don't want to live in a world where I'm jealous of somebody because, you know, yeah. um, they got a part over there. They can afford there. to take the time off. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's, there's the, the, that way madness lies, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, um, and it's your journey and it's opening up for you. So yeah. And, and you and can't control everything. Yeah, and we, we need, we need 
you know a mixed bag of stories you know it's like yeah you know I think that that's and I think that's okay and where you live uh in London at the minute so I'm in Cardiff Cardiff. um, yeah because that's where the show films there you go yeah a nice city yeah 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 yeah, it's 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 great and it's really um you know and the people are good and uh you know and I'm lucky there's um some lovely people on the cast and the the crew is you know um is fantastic I remember like my first week on the job I remember they were setting up for a shot um, in Resus. So the, those are the kind of, you know, the, the big scenes when somebody's yeah. kind of brought in um, and it's an emergency, it's straight through to Resus. Um, can I get some help over here? Dr. Nash, Dr. Nash, Dr. Nash has been, Paging Dr. Nash. There's been a 6.2, 5.6.5, 2.3, <laughs> shoulder boost, <laughs> kneecap boost. And I, I love, yeah. I love those scenes. Resus scenes are my favourite scenes yeah. in film. I absolutely love doing a Resus scene yeah. where there's just like, you know, and I love doing like, um, there's I can't remember the name of the procedure, but there's a procedure. You know, um, we had a, we had a burn victim once, and you have to the, the two the it, it 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 basically takes two doctors, and you have to slice down the the torso at the same time to release uh, the pressure in the skin. Unreal. And you only get one go at the shot because there's one prosthetic, uh-huh. so you can't mess it up. Uh-huh. And I love that. I love that pressure. Uh-huh. Um, but those yeah, I remember my first week in the job, looking through the the kind of the glass and the door and watching, you know the camera operator and the grip and um the sound you know the the boom operators all lining up to do this shot and I thought wow I'm in a place where this stuff matters as much to somebody else as it as it does to me yeah and that that was a real click yeah it's gone it was a different level yeah it was a real like belonging moment yeah you know I think ultimately that's what we all want is to feel like we we have something to belong to yeah you know And and if you can find that, you know, we have it initially with our family, you know, if, you know, if, 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 we're, if we're lucky, you know, yeah. and then to and then we we hope to emulate that in our in our work. And if you can find that in your work or somewhere in your life where you feel like you belong, that's ultimately what it's about, you know. Yeah, that's that's really interesting. And for, but even pre uh, uh, casually, which I'm going to come back to, uh, you were. Doctor Who has seen your. Were you part of Doctor Who as well? And the and no, 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 not Doctor Who. Probably the, the same, the same production company. I did. Um, I did a couple of like. I did some EastEnders yeah. and I did Doctors. Is that what you're thinking? That's it. Do- doctors, uh, Doctors, and uh, I did a, sh- uh, a show called Shakespeare and Hathaway. So they, those, and um, those were like you know they the, those jobs are really important because you know you're learning. You show up on day one on yeah. a on a TV set. You don't have a clue. Yeah. As it well as it just explain to people out there that maybe don't know. Look, there's a lot of people out there listening to us now would be watching all the shows you you were you were talking about. They the soups. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, obviously, back in the day when there was there was no other TV company, it was the top four. You know, yeah, the BBC, yeah. ATV, and uh, uh, BBC Two and Channel Four came along. Channel yeah. Five came along. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so. It was more compact then, but now yeah. you've got so many different, uh, I suppose, uh, channels and, and uh, providers. Yeah. And the likes of Casualty and, and shows like that, they're iconic. They're, I mean, it's 35 years old or something like yeah, that. Th- yeah, 38. 38 30, years old. Yeah. And like, I mean, I'm sure there's not many ops and poops and poles and <laughs> that they haven't yeah. seen or done. But yeah. for you going into, say, the likes of um, the early days of, say, you were going in there at East Enders or them shows like Doctors or whatever. How did that feel for you? Was Did you think then, oh yeah, I'm starting to arrive, you know what I mean? I'm starting to get y- yeah, in the I door mean, if that makes Yeah, sense. well you hope, you hope so. You, yeah. you know, you, you kind of hope so, but there's no guarantee. That's the thing now. Yeah. It's like, you know, I think, I think kind of, you know, um, you know, uh, years ago, like maybe the idea of like one job leading very naturally to another might have been, you know, but it's not not like that really now. But you take it. But what I did do was, you know, I took each experience and just kind of gleaned as much as I could, you know, yeah. uh, you know like just in terms of like, you know, how how the how the the the, the floor operates in terms of like, you know, and and you know, hitting a mark or you uh, know, like oh, yeah, I didn't, you know, I, 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 as someone that right, so hitting a mark, right? Mm. As, so is that like appearing somewhere or saying something so hitting a mark would be so and so li- and, and it is so there'll be a physical mark either like a piece of tape or yeah. they, you, you might ask for a hard mark you know which is called a sausage a bit of tape with uh, yeah a little bit yeah. of tape uh, and uh and you know if you so hard marks a sausage a hard mark is a, not uh, an actual sausage no no um you, uh, that would be good though I, <laughs> that would be interesting <laughs> fuck i'm, st- I'm starving <laughs> Where are there? can i get a cook stone uh, <laughs> uh, we do be for people out there <laughs> we piddle 
I'm left behind there. Right, so, so there's a hard spot, and then there's the wee shots. Or yeah, so you'll line up. You'll line up for the shots. So, for example, so the camera operator will. Um, so, say for example, you're going in for a, a tighter shot. Yeah. Um, in order to for the, the 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 camera angle to work, they will need you to hit a very particular mark. So they'll put a mark on the floor, and you then as the act, you have to hit your mark. Ah. Oh, yeah. So everything before you're saying and doing. Has you're saying to, and doing, but you have to make sure you're in yeah. the right place. Otherwise, you're screwing up the shot. Uh, you know, and, which I've done many times. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, Can we get Mark Ferrelli, please? Uh, no, it's I fine, ju- I don't need one. I just say that Eleanor's a true professional. She's just saying that for people out there, you know, that, you, that you've done it more than once and you're, you're, oh, yeah. you've hit that mark. That sausage was never safe around you because you're a South Derry yeah. lady. And we know about the crackle <laughs> hustle, don't we? About the cooks around sizzle. Sausage is not a sausage without a sizzle. Uh, ah, yeah. sizzle up there. <laughs> and uh, So we veggie sausages as well for people out there that, you know, yes, don't yes, eat yeah. that type of sausage. No, I bet you there's some really good veggie sausages uh, out there. Right? <laughs> and also, we well, were talking earlier on there, and some of the guys, they're, they, you know, they're gamers. Yes, and yeah, you're yeah. a part of a few games. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I've done some, yes, yeah, some, so I do uh, voiceover work. Deadly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, can you remember any of them games? Because I know I have them written down. And what was the, what were the names? Nathan, of them? Uh, Diab- Diablo was that one of them? Diablo. Yeah. Well, what was the car one? Forza. Forza. Yeah. So Diablo. Yeah. And, for, yeah. Uh, and uh, so, so one of the guys saying that's a really, really big game. Yeah, and I, yeah, I don't have a clue. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, I mean, but the gaming world is unbelievable. It's a massive industry. Uh, I know it, there's huge. It's huge. Yeah, Billions and they might, and you know, you'll be, you'll go into the so a lot, lot of the 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 work you go into a studio in London, and and usually the, the work that that I was doing for I think Diablo it was a you go in about six o'clock in the evening because they're they're based in LA. So like they're getting up and like uh, the director's getting up and then they're giving uh, you like, so they're directing you over and you're doing, you know, and you have like, um, dialogue. And so I was like, are they giving you all American accents and all? No, basically that was a lot. Of, that was basically I had to do like a kind of general kind of Scots, you know, for like, so yeah, so I had to play a lot of villagers. My you know? homeland, second name, you know. Glasgow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glass, yeah. yeah. Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it out there, it might be up. <laughs> and, uh, so, and so accents, they're important in games. And uh, yeah. so the, your character, what was your character in the game? So, so, that, so I, I played I played a few, quite a few characters in that game. Deadly. So, you know, it'd be like uh, Villager 1, Villager 19, Villager, uh-huh. like so loads of villagers. Uh-huh. Um, and... Uh, yeah, and then for the and I kind of you know the accent. I think I've worked most most of the work that I've done for voiceovers has been American or or Scottish. There you go. So I had to do I do um uh, a character. She's called she's Jenny um Jenny Jenny McClue, and she is a like a young kind of like detective. So. Yeah, so she was a kind of, yeah, so Jenny LeClue, that's it, yeah, so uh, she was a kind of like young Nancy Drew type, uh, you know, so. Jenny LeClue, on the, yeah. just outside her door, it's Jenny LeClue. It's Jenny LeClue, and she was Want like a 15 year old. Need a clue, <clears throat> need it solved. Jenny LeClue. Jenny LeClue. That's right. She's perfect. So this kind of obnoxious, kind of like, you know, a little bit of a, she was like a bit of a child genius kind of character, that was fun. And th- is that written down, or do you have to amp Yeah, up? no, that's all, that's all kind of, so the, the whole thing is like scripted, and then you're, you're, you, you, you do the dialogue, and then, yeah. I mean, they, these guys that create these games, and they're just, they're, the talent is just yeah. on, and how their minds work, you know, you're just yeah. like, you know, you're yeah. such a, you're so far down the list in terms of like, uh, you know, like you're such a small cog in this massive machine. Yes, you know? and, and, and because, and obviously a massive company over it, like the big production companies. And, yeah. Uh, and so f- for you then, I suppose for people will know you now as uh, Dr. Nash. Dr. Stevie Nash. Yeah. Dr. Stevie Nash. Dr. Nash. Uh, Dr. Nash, I'm going to try and do this like a real talk show host. <laughs> Dr. Nash's character is straight talking. Yes. A bit like a lady you were talking about earlier on. Yeah. Yes, yep, your mama. St- yeah, very yep. straight talking. Straight yep. talking. But at the other side, a vulnerable part, could you say? A yeah. Vulnerable. And uh, also very, I suppose, uh aware of people but they might not think that is that okay yes yeah, yeah. i would yeah. say she's um definitely emotionally stunted <laughs> yeah know? she needs a lot of therapy you yeah, know you yeah. do, stevie needs a lot of therapy but yeah. you know god help the therapist <laughs> yeah. but um yeah she's very um very heart on her sleeve uh rarely kind of reads a room 
you know, yeah. um, she will, um, you know, spew before she thinks, yeah. you know, um, it, it's a real, it's, it's a real, God, it's so lovely, it's lovely to play a character who's kind of removed from yourself, you know, yes. like, um, yeah. like she, she definitely, there, there's no kind of people pleasing in, 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 in Stevie, you yeah. know, um, and, you know, she's kind of unapologetically, uh, herself and that can get her into some huge scrapes. But she knows what she's doing and the, the Yeah, she loves her job. Uh, you know, yeah, she yeah. really she really loves her job and, and, and she really like she does care, you know. Yeah. It's a uh, it just doesn't always look that way. Uh, you know? I know, I know. And I know. It, you know, and 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 you know the, I guess that's you know it's it's interesting because you know it's like well, you know um she's you know she's not the person who's going to hold your hand through it, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but is that, do you think, um, you know, people in the medical world, does it become, I know it's it's drama, but um, do, do they like to your good selves go out to hospitals and look and see how it works and uh, do you know, are you watching it or, yeah. or is it, you yeah. know, do you know what I mean by that? Absolutely. Because I, I suppose it should say for yourself, I thought, you know, uh, I read and I was aware of this, but and, uh, if you want to chat about it, I was aware that... Uh, you were attending the hospital from really young. Thanks to your mum. Well, there you go. Do you know that your mum was the first person who just who drew my parents' attention to the fact that something wasn't right? There you go. I didn't know because that. Because I was walking. It was about th maybe three or four. Do you I want was, to speak about that? Or, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was walking around. Uh, so your, your your mom said, basically, she was talking to my mum after a, a babysitting me. for, for the, And she said, Eleanor keeps walking around and she keeps crouching down. She keeps like squatting, you know, like mm. so, so I would be walking around and squat to the ground. And and um and that that's when the, I think mum and dad first took me to to the doctor and they said it could be something with the heart because what happens is when you are kind of starved a bit for oxygen, you will your your body will instinctively go lower to the ground to try and get more oxygen. Wow. So and there that's you and you know, your mum picked up on there like there's just my me being weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> Eleanor's been weird uh -huh. again. <laughs> I, th I think I think it's because well, I think it's because one of the saints spoke to you and you were just down the knees. <laughs> Saint Teresa, are you down there? <laughs> uh, and and so tell the people then how did how did you because uh, you know over the years you you know uh, um, for people maybe out there that may have this in this. Yeah, you know, it's always good to be uh, hear the story of someone that has come through it. Yeah. So yeah. So so I had um, uh, when I was so when I was seven, I ended up having open heart surgery, and I had a, a had a hole in the heart and a thing called an nominal drainage. So, um, it, and and it was just pure luck that, that where the 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 hole and this kind of this other problem, um, the the kind of where they they sat uh, geographically, <laughs> not a doctor, <laughs> only fictional. Um, uh, meant, I thought you were going to give me a big insight into it. Basically, in the such such. <laughs> yeah. don't be telling people they're not a real doctor. There's people believe you are a consultant. I do. You know, there's people going to be ringing you for DLA support. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so sorry. Go ahead. No, yeah, so basically, yeah. So where the, because because of the placement that they they could fix the two with one kind of major surgery. Um, but I remember, like, I remember going for catheterization, which is where they pass a needle up through the vein in the leg up to the heart. I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. I'm so sorry if that's not right. Uh, um, but I remember going sorry, for you that. You convinced me there. It yeah. I mean, I said it, you know, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with gusto. Yeah, exactly. Vigor, yeah. Just say it with feeling. Yeah. Um, feeling. And uh, I remember, you know going for that when I was three or four. And, and, and I I remember, it's weird. I, I I remember I had a dream when I was under, um, under the general anaesthetic. And I had a dream, and a, a really, really vivid dream that me and my mum were in the kitchen and uh, she's passing tins of beans to me. Like the, the, she's lo the loads and loads of beans. And um, <laughs> I wonder what Freud would make of this. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of beans. You weren't constipated? No. I wasn't constipated at the time. The guy, no doctor. Oh, that was a thing with me because I, I always had to be. My mum always had me on Weetabix as a kid. Uh, pump them out. I hated uh, Weetabix. I uh, know. She was like, "Your bile's not good. Have some Weetabix." Uh, um, <laughs> it's the Irish cure. Uh, for just for people out there, so you know it's called roughage. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, gotta yeah. get some Weetabix. Uh, just tell the people you. out there, it's roughage. <laughs> uh, sorry, go ahead. But you had this dream, and then apparently uh, when I the, the, they said to mom when it when it came around, and yeah, every time she passed me the beans, I would I said, "Mummy, 
So every time she passed me a tin of beans, I'd go, mummy, mummy. And they said that when I was under, I kept calling for my mummy the whole time. I just there kept saying, mummy, mummy. They, 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 you know, when then they have to put me further under. Uh, but it's weird, isn't it? The things uh, they, you know. I also yeah. had an amazing nighty collection as well. I remember like going for my major surgery and having uh, loads of like night, new nighties. Uh, every, every aunt bought you a new one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember doing like a kind of fashion show you know, before I went to hospital. It's an Irish thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you a nighty. Here, such and such is in the hospital. Duns, jammies, uh, jammies. What <laughs> yeah. size is he? Doesn't matter. You need them. Get them. What color? It doesn't matter. Pink. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> His bowels are all over the show. Oh Get them plenty. <laughs> I loved having like loads of the, loads of pink nighties. Ah, uh, that's that. Like, mum was probably having like a, she was having her own like probably having a breakdown because I was going into hospital. Uh, I was like, look at this. Uh, but it, you, you you overcame it, and you got. Yeah. Uh, I suppose what people should know with. Uh, any major surgery you were attending for a good few years and you yeah. got the all clear? Yeah, so I got the all clear. Like I, I kind of was, um, you know, I guess I had my last appointment when I was about 21. Brilliant. You know, so they kind of keep you under. But I remember my, my surgeon, he was um, an English gentleman. He was, about, he was about six foot two. His name was Dr. Gladstone. And uh, he was incredibly, incredibly dry, incredibly, yeah. you know. Whoosh, and This uh, is the way it is. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. I, and I was one of the, I think I was one of the first kids to have... Um, in, in Northern Ireland as far as I know well, mum could have just been telling me that just to make me feel better um, to, actually, you were one of the first kids um, to have my scar um, it, it done horizontally rather than vertically and um, and uh, he said I think I'm going to do it this way and mum was like oh that doesn't matter whatever you think he goes it'll matter to Eleanor and <laughs> mum's like okay I'm sorry um, but when I had my because they take the bandage off like maybe maybe about seven days after surgery yeah um, he, I remember he was standing there and he went, yep, it's a work of art. Um, <laughs> but that kind of real, you know, yeah. but you know what? That's what I want from my surgeon. I don't uh, want a mate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I want yeah. somebody yeah. who is so like, yeah. you know. That Dr. Nash type. Dr. Straight Nash talker. type. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. yeah. Somebody and kind of like, yeah, dead pan of fear. But do you not think it's, uh, and I suppose it's, um, you know, the NHS is an amazing place. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's so many amazing consultants and they're doing so many amazing uh, operations and so many cures over the years that have them in there. Like I you know. think, you know, maybe if you had one back 20 years pre that, many well, minutes. You know, the, do you know what I mean? Well, this is what the the, the consultant, uh, Dr. Craig was the consultant I was under and he said to, he said to my mum and dad, you know, one of the last um, parents that I give this news to, because they were really, mum was in a bad way when she got yeah. the news. He said, he said, look, he said, you're lucky. One of the last people I give this news to, I told them to take their kid home and make them comfortable. Yeah. He said, so you were in a good so place here. The saints came marching home. They came marching in. Come marching home. The <laughs> saints like, came thank marching Thank you, Saint Bernadette. Home. Thank you, Saint Bernadette and all <laughs> them other glorious saints. Uh, so we're in casually now and uh, it's going deadly for you. Uh, the I suppose for people uh, why I brought up with the old soaps and all there's people have watched them soaps for years yeah. and first to have someone like yourself like uh, for instance my mum one time said to me she was w uh, watching one of the series I'm not happy the way they're getting going on with Eleanor and I was thinking ma it's a drama you know it's as if she wanted me to go to England go to the head of the, of the show and say here lad you just watch what you're at with Eleanor there because uh, my ma is coming to get you script writer top but you know you know like, uh, <laughs> look you know all the words under the sun it doesn't matter lad so you know people feel that you know do you, do you feel it uh, like you know when you're home there and I know you're maybe getting to that stage where you know you are starting to be known uh, uh, I suppose like anything does that make life different for you? Have you got this thing in your head? Do you <laughs> Anya, know what I mean by that? Day? I just know when Anya, when Anya watches this, she's going to be laughing because I remember doing like a, we, I did a, a talent show when I was a kid and it was at the Elk Bar. Where I had, yeah. had a thing and it was called like something like the Elk Rising Star and I did an Andrea Core, I did a Runaway by Andrea Core and one of the questions they said, they went, has life been the same since? <laughs> and me and Anya have this running thing about still putting my knickers on one leg at a time. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, no, do you know? Do you know what's lo what I do? What what is love? I I really it's a lovely thing when somebody comes up, you know, that, and talks to you about um, about the show, yeah, you know, like, yeah. and it's a really like it's a lovely thing when you, when um, somebody comes up and they've got oh my god, you placed you know uh -huh. that's it's lovely because that's you know. They're part of the story. 
yeah, you know, yeah. without without them, I I never really understand it when people get sniffy about uh, fans. Do you yeah. mean I go? Yeah. Well, your, your job doesn't exist without them. Because uh, <laughs> like, you were born up in the country hmm. and you're still down to earth and that's maybe well, important I, to you, I, is I, it? Well, I, I just, you know, I think about, you know, we, we had two girls who came to the studio last week and one of them had travelled from Brighton and the other one had travelled from Southampton and they stood outside the studio all day in the freezing cold all day just so they could see, you know, the people that they share their Saturday night with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah. like... Um, I thought you were going to say come out with two two paracetamols for them because <laughs> they're a wee bit of a cold and a warming blanket. Uh, here, we're queued up. All our ambulances <laughs> down the road there. <laughs> just just hold on. And, uh, Blue they were. Uh, <laughs> so no, and that's called fans, isn't it? Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. It's a and, different thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that you know, and the relation, you know, that 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 relationship you, that that you have with people who who, who watch the show and, yeah. and you talk to you about the show. That's that's. Yeah, it's, they're sad of a character goes. They they uh, you know totally they love totally invested, yeah, and yeah. that's. That's, that, that's and talking. I know what that's like because I, I, you know, you know, I watch a film or I listen yeah. to a piece of music, and yeah. I'm totally invested. Yeah, yeah. And that's what investment. You know, that's yeah. that relationship. That connection. You, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, you know. and I think that uh, I suppose, you know, people um, looking at them shows and uh, seeing yourselves and maybe seeing you and, and like, you know, you might notice, but there might be people in town go, Phew. yeah, yeah. Do you know the ones that go? Is that? Don't know. <laughs> Does she look like she looks like her? She's a lot thinner on screen. Jesus. <laughs> she's not wearing a white coat. Is she not a real consultant? Because I was going to go over and ask her here, but I bit of a sore head. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but no, you were you're in casualty now. Uh, there was a wee while there people thought they were gonna side hook you and then you're back in again, you know, yeah. it felt as if you, yeah. you had just sort of done the 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 Ulster woman one and go, fuck it's yeah, 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 you know, yeah. But, yeah. but she I definitely was a character that needed to be, uh, you know, rehabilitated, you know, because she came in with like quite with this the, kind of vengeance kind of storyline. Well, and you portrayed that really well. And uh, that's something I suppose, lay personally, me, you never understand. How do you get into, you know, actors know how to do it, that mode or... Uh, and uh, I know the Brian, you were up, Brian McMahon was yeah, in. You, yeah. you come up and supported the young uh, drama students one yeah. night and here was brilliant. Uh, he says, you know, you bring yourself to a space, is that right? Or, or, or a, yeah. a, a memory or, or something made you sad or something made you kind of... Yeah, like there's, I, I think... Um, How the, is it done? There's all, well, the, you, you know, you, you can't not bring a part of yourself to, you, you know, you're the soul of a character, yeah. you know, yeah. like if they're, they exist on the page, but their soul doesn't exist, yeah. you know, yeah. and their life. Yeah, you know, beyond the page doesn't exist. That that's that's work that you that you have to do, and that's something yeah. that you ha you have to bring. Become, yeah. yeah. So like, so you are kind of you know you, you're you're giving your soul to you know to yeah. to to, to, to yeah. a character. Um, and I think you know uh, I know that a lot of um, you know a lot of people you know for example there 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 are schools of thought you know when you talk about method acting and you talk yeah. about like and and there would have been the the Lee Strasberg school in America the the you know that 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 idea that you know that you that you that you become the character, uh, you know, uh, and um, I, that's kind of not something that I, that's not something that I, you method know, acting, mm, is that what that's yeah. called? Yeah. 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 For, for me, I think when a scene is most, you know, alive is when you, you know, you see two people listening to each other, you know, yeah. and I think, you know, and being alive to that, you know, and, um, because if you listen, no no two takes will ever be the same. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and something might happen that you don't expect. Yeah. you know, and th and those are those are the moments that you know yeah. that, that those are the kind of those those really like alive moments. And you see, you know, I think I think you know one of the actors I really admire um, uh, on the show is a guy called William Beck. He plays um, Doctor Keo um, yeah. on the show, and I remember I played a guest part on Casualty two years before I came on to play a different part, Stevie Nash. And I remember that the the first day um, he 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 walked onto set and uh, and it was just you know and uh, and you know they 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 went turn you know, uh, turnover turning over set like, action and he's just you know he was just was he just was this consultant and he just the way he spoke and the way he did and you know the yeah. way he dealt with the baby and then it's okay well, let's let's do this and then we'll we'll do bloods and we'll you know and you just watch you know watching somebody just kind of m morph in front of your eyes into that you know and I thought. That's the show I want to be on. You know, uh, that's the show I want to be on. You sent it out to the universe. Well, yeah, I just, you know, I just thought, yeah. you know, and I remember after the show, like, I remember after that job going, I'd send to my agent, this is the, I'd love to do something like that. Yeah, that you felt be, it. Yeah. Like, and now you have. It's, and it's I, and I, yeah. And I, yeah. and I did have a real, like, after, you know, after mum died, 
And I'm really glad she got to see, I'm really glad that she got to see me play that part. And I'm really glad yeah. that I got to give her the news uh, that I'd got a decent job. Yeah, yeah job, you know, like yeah. that was a real, because they, mom and dad lived it, you know, they, they, yeah. the, the whole, you know, my dad, my dad would say, I don't know why you do that job. It's a dog's life. <laughs> like, you know, like uh, the torture of like, you know, not getting jobs and the disappointment, know, know, you know, know like know, know. going up for 20 job interviews and not uh, getting them, you know? I know, I know. So it was lovely. But I remember like having a real moment on, um, on set and it was, uh, you know, uh, where I'm, you know, I'm walking out of the hospital, I'm looking up at the, 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 the Holby city, Nick sign. And I was thinking of mom and I was just thinking, you know, this is a real moment, you know, cause like the years of, you know, of, of like, of like, struggling yeah. you know and not yeah. and not getting work uh, you know and thinking yeah. you know and going will I ever but just something if you love something enough you just you, you hang on you can't I just couldn't you know yeah. I, I you had it by the that, hem of its coat and you, I just couldn't let yeah, go yeah you couldn't take that wee flame that was burning no I couldn't you know, I, yeah. I couldn't I just yeah. it, it just it, you know even when I was teaching I did stand up for for, um, yeah, uh, for a yeah. couple of years and but how did that go for you? I, I, you know, I really, I, I had, I had a really good experience doing stand up. Yeah. Um, I found it lonely. Yeah, that's the only thing I'll say about it too. Like, it's a lonely, it's a lonely existence, and it's very, you know, and you are, you know, um, if we think about actors' egos, you know, and we all have an ego, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, uh, but as a stand up, you, you, you are literally walking on stage going, "Do you like me?" Like, this uh, is, you know, and that, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, you know, love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, within, you know, uh, 30 seconds, if, uh, they, if it, they do like you or not, you if know, you're bombed or not, you know, really quickly. Yeah, and yeah. Um, so there's, a, but I, wor I missed working with a group of people, yeah. you know, and I love that. That's, you know, at its best, you know, like, um, when you like watch any kind of documentaries about like, um, uh, you know, um, the, the, the Rolling Stones or, you know, yeah. like, and how they kind of get together and they make music and yeah. that brilliant, um, you know, get back, you know, the, yeah. the Beatles, yeah. the, the, the Peter Jackson, yeah. the, that is, and if you're going to watch anything, yeah. uh, watch that, yeah. you know, that's nice. Are you telling the people out there I'm to telling watch if you're going to watch. Look at that camera, it's a real pro. Please Give it the real pro. Watch, get back. Yeah. Watch, get yeah, back. Watch, get back. Get back. It's, you watch know, your back. I did. Uh, you know, yeah, watch your back. Uh, no, <laughs> that's the Northern Ireland version. Yeah, that, that's, watch the, your that's back. the sinister take on uh, that. <laughs> watch your back, Eleanor. <laughs> watch so, your back, big man. <laughs> so, like, now I should say, you know, there was a character uh, uh, and uh, there was a couple of characters in, uh, uh, that I want to bring up. Uh, uh, Faith. Yes, yeah. Uh, um, I read Faith uh, is... Uh, in the show, uh, yes. uh, 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 top nurse, yeah, 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 and you and said a, a long running uh, sort of scene together. Yeah, and is it true that uh, you know each other for a long, long time? Uh, yeah, so our characters, um, basically, when I was doing my um, medical training, she was training um, a, a, as a nurse. So, th so those characters have a have a history. Yes, you know, so they've got like a long standing friendship. You know, yeah. from I guess from college days, yes. basically. Yes. Um, and you know, are you just friends offset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 you know, I, like what I will say definitely about um, Kirsty's your name? Yeah, Kirsty. Yeah, Kirsty. Yeah. Do no, we give her a second name? Kirsty Mitchell. Mitchell. Kirsty Mitchell. Nothing to the East Enders dudes at all. No, none of those Mitchells. No, 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 She's no. a decent Scottish she's lady. A, isn't she's right? a Glaswegian. And decent. Uh, another. I Scottish Oh region, my I tell god! You, I, it's just all happening. I'm I know. I know. Check out the genealogy. I think we're all related. Every one of us, we're all cousins. I think we are. I think we're cousins. <laughs> yeah. Right. For now out there, we've been looking up genealogy, me and uh, Eleanor and Kirsty, and we reckon the Glasky. We are all related. Yeah. And Boston Joseph, he's our uncle. Boston That's right. Joe, yeah. Boston yeah. Joe. Who else is in our family tree? Um, Can you think there, just off? Big uh, Cynthia. I'm who sure. Was, Big Cynthia, who was Greek, but she yeah. was neat. She was a good lady. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. made the best soup. I know it's strange for a Greek lady to make so so good a soup, but right. we did enjoy it, didn't we? Yes. At our gatherings. Yes. Yeah. Twice a year. Yes. Yeah. Up the mountain. That's right. Running around the stones. Yeah. Singing the chants. Yeah. Do you want to tell the people? Can you remember any of the chants? Oh, like the dolman chants. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, watch out. <laughs> There's the dolman man. He sees me cutting turf. <laughs> but no. So and. You're good friends, as I say, and uh, the whole cast seemed to be friendly, but you were part of what I suppose, what, like, and I don't want to make little of it, but one of the biggest sort of uh, scenes with uh, Charlie, who was in uh, 
uh, casualty yeah, yeah, for, from the very start. Derek, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Derek, uh, another Northern Irish actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so Derek um, was Belfast born. Yeah. Um, and he and his sister were actually part of a musical duo called Derek and Elaine. There you go. Yeah, and they left You're Belfast. You're looking at me there. Am I taking this serious? I am. 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. I, I, no, I know. I, they are on Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Derek and... Elian. Elian. What kind of music did they do? They did all kind of sorts. They did like kind, of, kind of country stuff and some gospel stuff. Oh, you know, you they go. were like only nine. The two of them were only nine oh, at the time. Oh, there you go, right. Yeah, and uh, they went to Abbey Road to record. No way. And they were encouraged to lose their Belfast accents because, you know, they, they, they couldn't be understood, you know. So yeah. they, they had to they had to change. They had to actively change their, uh, their accents. But like... Derek, um, I mean, it was perfect that Derek got the part. So, so the part of Charlie was, uh, was actually based on a, um, a psychiatric nurse called uh, Peter Salt. And you can see in that that last, one of the last scenes of Derek's episodes, he, when he comes out of the hospital, there's a guy with glasses in the scene and Derek's face just lights up. But he didn't know that Peter Salt was coming to set that day. And that was, you know, that he was so, that was, that was a real moment, yeah. you know, for him. And, and, you know, Derek was kind of, you know, Brenda Fricker, um, you know, was in the first two series of Casualty. Yeah. Uh, she won her Oscar when she was still filming Casualty. Wow, Which is like for my football. Watch which out, is, Eleanor, which watch is amazing. out. You're next, BAFTA. <laughs> BAFTA. <laughs> <Benedict Cumberbatch. laughs> BAFTA. Yeah, well, I don't know, uh, what does that work? Does it work in votes, BAFTA? Or does it work in this elite room? Yes, it, let's yeah, think about it. Yeah, it's an elite it. room, I think. Yeah, what was he acting like, really? Yeah. You know yeah. what, what? What are they looking for? These BAFTA boys, girls. Girl. Uh, can you cry? No, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, well, you did cry a lot. Cry. You did <laughs> cry a lot. Like. You were running the Mayola dry, like you were. Like there was no doubt about it. Like and that's the kind of thing I'm saying about that switch on. Yeah, just the key is to always be sad. Uh, and, <laughs> but see all your cast members and 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 in that do they? feel that sadness too or is it just being an actor I think you know it, what I, mean? I think it just it just it depends on how you work you know yeah. um and I think you know um for for me Stevie's become some and this this is and this is the great thing about being part of a, a continuous drama it's like you get to grow apart you know yeah. like you get to grow this role like yeah. you know so you come in with a like a set of circumstances and yeah. you and you make decisions are you allowed to sort of move and shake it and shape it yeah yeah as, you know as, and i know when we the the history of violence a box set which was the, the which was the the kind of derek's exit um the, the episodes yeah you know they uh, the writers i had a kind of conversation with the writers at the time and they were talking about what stevie's relationship was with violence you know and i yeah. and i kind of spoke to them about you know in terms of you know, us, you know, uh, growing up yeah. and, you know, I guess f f for us, you know, uh, the Oma bomb was like a, you know, for, for, yeah. for, for my age, age group was a big, that was a real yeah. kind of, you know, cause you know, you had the, and you had the Good Friday Agreement and then that happened afterwards. It was like a real, um, shock, um, massive, ma you know, yeah. huge. And, and yeah. you think about what our parents kind of grew up yeah. with and, you know, yeah. and, um, and what they were watching out for you and you were just living your life. You that's know what I mean? You were just like, growing up. Yeah, Does that yeah. make sense? And how privileged I, you know, you kind of like, oh, but you were, what they had they were to protect me too, you know, that completely. Uh, and and maybe know? people, uh, listen to this and, uh, you know, out around the world in the UK, maybe your friends, um, they maybe just seen bits and pieces, but they never realized that there was, a form of normality going on underneath It's a complex it place. Do you know where what I mean? Live, you yeah. know, it's, and, uh, it's it's beautiful and it's complex. Yeah. And there's still, you know, there's there there you know there's there's still a, an undercurrent. You know, the, you, the in places, you know, you can't. You know, it's just, it's in the it's in the kind of the the cultural DNA, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, um, it's, it, and and I think it's uh, um, there's new generations coming. Uh, there's new visions on that. Them new generations, and yeah. and, and I, I think art is a, is a big part of that. You know, I think, you know, if anything can kind of, you know, I, I, I really think like, uh, like shows like, um, I, I know there's a show that, 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 that films, um, I think they might film in, in Bangor. It's, it's called Hope Street, uh, Hope Street. And it's, it's a kind of, um, it's, you know, it, it's, you know, and, and that, that kind of brings people to get, you know, you get crew from both yeah. sides of, of, yeah. of the divide. Yeah. That I think, yeah. you know, those kind of like bringing more kind of dramas like Blue Lights and stuff yeah. to, to, to the North and, and yeah. more that, you know, like Glasgow Berry as well. Yeah. That stuff transcends, yeah. you know, yeah. And I think it, it, what you're saying there is, is really important because, um, even Tiernan over there is uh, starting a new role in Ulster University and they're looking at that there. They're looking at, the, uh, you know, it's like a, a couple of things. It's like a 
looking at like, the way a TV channel would work, yeah. looking at the roles within it, yeah. uh, looking to train up, I suppose, the next generation of people that genuinely, they come from here, they want to be here, and that hopefully, like you said, like yourself, if shows come over, that they can get involved in. You know, yeah. Do you think that's important for people to have pathways into the creative industries? Because yeah. you can be left a bit... Uh, um, I don't want to, you mentioned the comedian uh, type thing, the isolation, can yeah. it, uh, the, that isolation that comes with trying to find your way. Yeah. Is it good that there's more pathways and more stuff happening here now? But yeah. they talk yeah. about Yeah, it's stuff. hard to be a career poet, they say, you know what I mean? So yeah. the isolation, you know, yeah. like yeah. trying to like, um, you know, give give young people um, opportunities to be, to be trained up and, you know, yeah. even like, um, you know, um, shows kind of taken on apprentices and, and, and you know, yeah. so these so these kind of young people can see, you know, you, I, you, know I, you don't know that these jobs exist. Yeah. You know, yeah. like uh, female um, stunt coordinators, yeah. one of the, the most underpopulated, you know, that, 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 like, so if you're a, a young, you know, gymnast who's uh, got a, you know, a, a penchant for heights, go for uh, it, you know, like. Or a young country girl throwing bills of hair Yeah, yeah, that's right. Do you know Claim mean? that wall and get like, over Like, these yeah. are jobs that, that exist, but they yeah. don't get filled because the people don't know about them, you know? You so go. it's all about access, you know? Yeah. Like, having access is really important. And, uh, is there any difference in the UK that, that people can get access to? Is there is there any places where people can train up, you know, and, like, stunt working and stuff? Or yeah, is it something I mean, that's I mean there's, there's a real kind of, you know, like, I was I was, I was was lucky enough to, to go to drama school and to, you know, and the, so there's, um you know, and and I think they're, you know, you definitely here, there's the, the, the more, there's more opportunities like you know what you yourself and Stella are doing here as well you know that's yeah. that's hugely important you know these 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 places are is so important in terms of giving giving kids a platform and and a leg up into yeah. the net you know there needs um, to be more you there needs yeah there uh, needs to be more and there needs you know and you know the thing about drama school is that people have to pay to go you know yeah. so there needs to be you know Where, like, or the grassroots can get access to yeah and and get that same bite yeah, like we talked about earlier on, that maybe it, we don't want to sound elitist. But, yeah, well, um, the, the, the thing is too, and it's it's not about it's not that you know, um, in 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 our industry, it's not even that the the you know, oh, you know, it's 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 the you know the people with money who get the jobs. It's 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 sadly it's the it's, it's they can afford the time. The, there's the, the time off. Uh, and this yeah. is the thing when you're a working actor yeah. you need bread and butter jobs yeah. because you yeah. know otherwise you're you know yeah. you can't you can't pay rent or you yeah. can't pay your mortgage or yeah. you can't you know look after your kids you, you know can't so function. you can't function so and you what's know, that comes uh, I suppose mental health issues do you find that there's mental health issues within the industry a huge, yeah this is have huge. you met a lot of people that yeah that, all of them <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know like yeah like we're yeah. like every yeah absolutely you know we're like there's a you know there's a uh, you know I think the the best of our industry you know and this is and and and, and it's not, this is not me flying a flag for 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 suffering or really, but yeah. I think the best of our industry they do struggle you yeah. know because they've because they've thought about it you know because yeah. they 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 think about it and because it matters you know yeah. you know and in order to be somebody for example as an actor in order to be somebody who can portray emotion you have to be in touch with your emotion it's yeah. just you know that's yeah. and do you, you think know. it that I mean but that's real good to hear because you sometimes see these big talk show hosts and people roll out and they're the people at the top of the game or whatever and some of them just get breaks like yourself and yeah. different things yeah uh, that it's important for people to know that there is other ones there's there's still opportunity. You can still take part. You can still be, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and you can still, you know, you can be somebody who's, you know, I I incredibly shy. And, so, you know, they, some, a lot of the actors that I that I know, they're incredibly shy people. There you, you know, go. like they're not natural kind of, you know, um, uh, extroverts, you yeah, know. Yeah, um, I think I, you know, for me, I, I was lucky enough, I think, to to be part of a family where, you know, my mum and my dad, they're both talkers. Yeah. You know, yeah. they love people and they yeah. love chat. And, and you, you learn know. to speak. Yeah. You, you got know. the Irish blanter. Well, you watch, you, you got watch. The blanter, yeah, yeah, you got the old blanter, haven't you? Yeah. You got the old yeah. You watch them have, you know, you watch, I remember like being up like Christmas Eve, like, or no, in, or maybe in bed at like midnight on Christmas Eve going, um, I don't know why the adults haven't gone to bed because Santa's not going to come if they don't get to bed. Uh, Maybe up to three in the morning, like uh, talking and singing, you know. But uh, but like I was lucky to come from a you know family. Yeah, they were waiting on Santa arriving. They were waiting on Santa. Uh, they were, and uh, some boy wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely, he's a busy man. How was he so witty? Considering he was all over the world, that's about gun game. People say he had cookies and all, but you know, I don't know. What do you think about that? Magic Patty. 
I think Santa was Magic. a wee thin dude. She slipped through the No, keyhole. I don't want Santa to be thin. Hello, I'm no. Santa. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm just over there like a slither. No, that's too sinister. Uh, I know, it's no cracking. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah, absolutely. I'm getting struck in the door. <laughs> I like the fact that he's, yeah, like uh, cumbersome and jolly. Uh, no, that's class. Well, do you know what? It's been brilliant. I have a, uh, oh, where did it go to? I was going to ask you a couple of wee questions on, now, I'm going to put on my glasses. If I can find them. Uh, yeah, there, there. Uh, now, what I would say, um, you being a thespian of the acting world, mm, you should probably yeah. be reading these out of me guessing because half the words in it are quite hard for me to read, but I'm going to Go give ahead. it my best shot, right? Okay. And uh, for people out there, Elner is a real consultant, right? And this quiz, it's called the... It's called her health quiz. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> you don't look at me. Uh, they don't know First anything about <laughs> See, they know nothing about this. Uh, uh, la, obviously, I've been uh, so, so. I've never been so nervous. No, don't worry about it. So, welcome to Health Matters. So, my name's Patty. This is consultant <laughs> Dr. Dr. Nash. <laughs> Dr. Nash, mm. the specialty isn't everything, right? So the first question for <laughs> Dr. Doing. Nash. Dr. Nash, I sound like one of the machines, you know, what's going to come out of the machine now? No, no don't take, keep your clothes on. There's no, there's no, nobody taking off any nightgowns here, okay? So what is the name of soft fatty tissue in which blood cells are produced, found in the cavities of bones? Marrow? <laughs> Thank you. You've just won a dartboard, okay? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, so, this is going to be one for me. <laughs> Dyslexic. <laughs> the medical condition. Uh, aphonia. A-P-H-O-N-I-A. Can anybody shout that out over there? Did I say it right? Aphonia. That's pretty good, isn't it? I'll tell you what, watch out, Bradley Walsh. Watch out, lad, because I'm scary. well proud of that scary <laughs> one there. Dyslexia's rule. So, <laughs> aphonia is the inability to do what? Me and you don't suffer from this. Aphoni well, phonics is sound, isn't it? Mm, it's to, to, to chat, to, to talk, to... <laughs> speak! Is it to speak! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Sorry, guys. hold on. You've just won... I'm going to say this, it's so special to me. A cuddly toy. A cuddly toy. Uh, oh, thank uh, you. A cuddly, You've won the cuddly, a cuddly toy. toy. <laughs> a cuddly toy is an even more cuddlier toy than a cuddly toy, people <laughs> out there. In medicine, alkalology is the study of what? What? How do you spell that? A L G O L O G Y. Algalology? Yeah. Gosh. I'll, I'll give you a clue. When we first roll on. Uh, uh, like spasming? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit of a spasm. But, uh, you'll ask me when I come on, where is, where is the... Uh, pain? Yeah. The study of pain. The study of pain. Wow. Yeah, thank Algalology. you very much. Was that a pretty oh, good I question? Oh, I love that. I love it too. That's great. I think that, That's part of the day. I think that... Uh, um, the study of pain. I think Uncle Lawrence and yeah. your cousin is going to be and so Laura. proud of us there. And Laura. Yeah. I hope you're proud of me too, pronouncing these right. Uh, I was in them uh, <laughs> lectures. Me and Elner were in the lectures when you and run them, okay? That's right. We were at the back. John and Joseph, we were... We were, we in, were there. We were in rock Josephine. Josephine. Yeah. Uh, we were rock and roll band from, from Munich. Uh, <laughs> punk band, actually. Attitude. 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 <laughs> Attitude. Uh, that wasn't the name for a band, by the way. So this one here... Uh, how are you loving the quiz so far? This is good. Uh, this is really good. good. I'm so my, nervous my, for you. My body temperature's gone up. Did I give you the degrees. last prize? Did it, oh, you got you a cuddly, cuddly toy. toy. <laughs> yeah. What is the medical term for abnormal... Oh, oh, this is good. What is the medical term for abnormally low blood pressure? Oh, hypotension? Holy Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to give away all the prizes this week. Nobody's ever got all the prizes. So what's the prize, Patty? Hold on, I hear me. Is it the cutlery set? You won't believe this. What? You won't believe this. You won't believe this. It's a week's supply of 
Big Bernie's Pizza. Oh, I love that. I thought you were going to say Kukuda Mall. I think oh really my said. God. How, how nice that. For people out there in the UK, these are the best pizzas ever. ever. Big Bernie's Pizzas. Big Bernie's Pizzas. Uh, phone, 65. Blah, 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 and uh, so uh, after the show, you can see it all on, on the, you know, the, what do you call the credits? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big Bernie's Pizzas. Ha- oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what way, she, what way was Big Bernie answer. What kind of accent she got? Uh, hello? Hello? I would say it like that, you know. Hello, Big Bernie's pieces. Uh, I'm looking uh, the Hello? best one. Do you know the? Do you know the one? Uh, Can Big, I get Bernie, the cheese? Big Bernie's Big Bernie's hard one and <laughs> triple daisy cheese. Is that what you call it? We'll take two of them. Two, please. Uh, and uh, some of that cola stuff. What do you call it? Cola stuff. The, you know, the, the dark stuff. They go. Tsh- do you remember Smack Cola? Oh my God, I was so fierce thinking about Smack it. Smack Cola. <laughs> I know. It's glass. Which was like or, you know Smack Coke, like or, I was like, or, what? Or braid. No. Braid? No. Oh, you didn't braid your hair. It's like, Shh. Yeah. We're advertising them out here now. So. All right. <laughs> All right so, and we've done so well, we haven't advertised nothing. In medicine. Oh, I love oh. this in here. Rhinologist is concerned with what part of the bo- human body? Rhinoplasty's nose, isn't it? Holy shit. shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I watch a Holy lot of shit. YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, so, what surprise? What surprise for this? Come on, it's coming in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Special 1990s calculator. Oh, oh my god! The, is it the massive one? It's the. My dad brought me back one of those from the housing executive ones. Do you know the I was ones? Like, oh, thanks, dad. oh my god! They can use it. They as, were huge. Uh, look for people out there. If your kitchen door falls off, just put. It that was in like a laptop. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was it was a form of laptop. Yeah. No. Oh, I, I, I'm on my last one. You've been my greatest quiz guest ever. Okay. And uh, I've had many. And. Uh, so this one here. As long as it beat Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence didn't have a cause because, uh, you know, <laughs> he was too busy, uh, you know, like he, making Ireland smell beautiful. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's Hashtag, true. how good do you smell Ireland? Mm. Uncle Lawrence. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag heaven He's smell. a man on the tip of every, you know, uh, you name the... <laughs> Don't sh- finish that sentence. Sh- 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 <laughs> I didn't know what you said. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe he did, but uh, <laughs> we, we, we mind Lawrence saying he knows what he's going to say. That. So the last question for the, for the jackpot. Okay. I definitely can't pronounce this, but I'm going to go for okay. it. And the human body, urothrohobia, is an abnormal fear of doing what? Would you like me to spell? Please. Would you like to spell? Can it you there? use it in a sentence? Uh, so, uh, in the human body, E R Y T H R O P H O B I A. Erythrophobia. Erythro. E, so E. Respect yourself. Oh, that's Aretha uh, Franklin, Aretha. sorry. Aretha Franklin. Uh, na, 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 na. <laughs> Erythrophobia. Areth. <laughs> E-R. You could do this. You could do this. It's a massive surprise. What is it again? E-R. E-R. What? I should know how to pronounce it, shouldn't I? Because I am a true host. I practice it all. <laughs> E-R. Y-T-H-O-R-P-H-O-B-I-A. Oh, gosh. That is um, Aretha. What'd you say there? Why <laughs> you pronounce it there over there laughing, thinking I don't know how to pronounce this thing? <laughs> now, they're making me all, all nervy. Look at me. Look at me, hand. Look. Oh, oh mate, I was steady. I was steady as a loophole. I was steady. Wasn't I steady? That like, was you're my good. first international guest. And now um, it's all gone. So. Uh, is it the study of what, did you say? Uh, 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 is the abnormal fear of doing what? Oh, going for a wee? I'll give you a clue, right? Give you a clue, right? So. <laughs> You take yourself back to when you're younger, right? Right. And you come into a room and there's a dude there. Uh, you know, a dude, a dude, dude. Um, I wouldn't now, know what you're talking a about. A dude or a dude at, right? So we're going to keep it right for people out there because you need to be careful. Yeah. Because you do it or do that, right? Yeah. So I'm not sure what you want to do or do that. Right? Yeah. So you're out there and you go, oh, there's, I don't want to say any names. Let's make a name up. There's Ken, right? <laughs> or, or there's, there's, there's Joe, right? Like, or Joe, yeah. wherever, right? And this is what happens. If you have a wee bit of a feeling for Joe, and he yeah. speaks to you, you know, this can happen. To Are you, you talking right? about a flutter? And it's like a wee flutter, <laughs> but but it's, it's it's close. But is it the kind of flutter you you get as a kid when you're watching Dirty Dancing? No, no, <laughs> no, no. It's, it's like say you're say, that, you go, say, say we went to a disco, right? <laughs> say we went to a disco, right? And yeah. you're at the disco, giving it all. Yeah, do yeah. do. What song would you play? You'll know the song. The first song I ever slow danced to was Mistletoe and Wine. So let's go with that. Right. That's a sexy song. Children playing. Yeah. It's a very sexy song. Whiskey and Buckfast. <laughs> that the one, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you're now to get there, yeah. you didn't suffer from this, right? 
You right. did, right? So, you, you know. Fear of contact? No, no. It's, it's like, so, it's like a wee thing comes over you. It's like, you know. What, a, 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 a hot. A fear of a, a, what, a hot flash? <laughs> like a feeling of. Like a flush. I would have called it the Patrick flush. Swayze effect as it's a, a kid. It's a, it's a, it's a, it rhymes with flush. And it, it, you know, it might be. And sometimes if you, you use a, a tooth brush. A brush. A brush. Blush. 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 A fear of blushing. Yeah. And when you said rhymes with uh, flush, uh, I was like, what? Toothbrush. <laughs> I never did that. Uh, so that was absolutely brilliant. Well, what is the star prize tonight? Nathan, tell me what the star prize is. We've got we've got the pizza, we've got the, the kitchen door. You know, uh, uh, a packet of scones. <gasps> Fruit or plain? Because my uncle Patsy, uh, who's over from Australia at the minute, he loves a fruit scone. So. Right. So fruit I scone. just want to look into that there. Fruit scones all so around. Uncle Patsy, you, Nathan. Uncle six Patsy. of the best fruit scones you'll ever witness in your life. You yeah. will not pick them up in Melbourne, Sydney or Adelaide. He loves a fast sultana. <laughs> you'll pick it up in South Derry. <laughs> That's right. You know, the, the, <laughs> fi- <laughs> the finest scones you'll ever this have. This is what I love about coming home. Sparing Bakery. Uh, pancakes. Oh my God. Or Unreal. Sparing Bakery. Eddie, legend of the town. I just, those pancakes. Uh, are do you just, smuggle them back over there's, the, there's you no, Yeah, them? I've taken those pancakes back many uh, a time. Is there yeah. anybody that you know, over there when you open them up go... Joe, my, my son loves them. Joe loves them. He loves a large pancake. A, a large pancake, right? Those large fluffy pancakes. So for people out there... Sparing pancakes. If you meet... This lady here on the plane, and you smell a lovely aroma. Hit me up for my pancake. Yeah, hit them up. It's not about Uncle Lawrence's fancy perfume. No. No, it's Mm-mm. not about the fancy no. tans. No, no it's, it's all not about the, the fancy carbs. hairdo. No, none of that there. No. This is the ultimate smell of major large pancakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. They're so no. good. And a cooked down sausage. Yeah, and a cooked down sausage. You can't yeah. cook it on the plane, obviously, because, no. you know. Yeah. Little crack has gone mad. <laughs> no crack there. <laughs> Six sausages cooking at seat number 44. Who is it? Eleanor Lawless. Please stop making a fry on seat 15. You may be a casualty, but you're not allowed to fucking put this plane on fire. <laughs> so, Eleanor, you've been a brilliant guest. Thank you so much. And I Thanks think you should, come, me. you should come back again after you won I'd the love BAFTA. To come back. After yeah. you won the BAFTA and BAFTA, <laughs> BAFTA, BAFTA, BAFTA. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, and uh, when do they come up? Any of them BAFTA type of things? Or? Um, the, ba- the TV BAFTAs are in May. Um, yeah. Casualties up for a BAFTA. I know um, that. The, 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 yeah, that be. Well, yeah. we believe that Eleanor should be up for a BAFTA, BAFTA don't we, team? <laughs> team BAFTA, let's BAFTA. hear it. BAFTA. Team what? BAFTA. Team BAFTA. I've yeah. got to, I'm going to need to cut down the pancakes then. Uh, don't worry about that yeah. there. Don't worry about that there. We'll be sending a few over for the judges, okay? Yeah, thank and, you. Uh, so that they know the aroma and what it takes yes. to eat. Yes. One of the famous yeah, yeah. South Dairy pancakes. It's how we show love here. Yeah. And I know people say, why is it so large? Simple as this. Irish people love size the pancakes. Matters. Size matters. <laughs> so, <laughs> all size matters, people. All right. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank and you, hopefully Patty. when you're back again down the line and for the next five, ten years, they'll come back and have a wee chat to us again. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you. Give Thanks, guys. Thank, you. thank you very much. Cheers. Thank on. you. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Eleanor Lawless. I've been Paddy Glasgow. This has been Voice of the Spirits. Our team's over there. Nathan, Stella and... Tierney's in the background there. He's hiding. Behind the big and he's actually, Behind the large calculator. And actually he's the tallest and he, I can still see him. <laughs> see that there? And, uh, but thank you very much and thanks for people listening. You can get us on all the social networks, um, YouTube and all the channels and whatever else you can, where subscribe. you listen. Is that? Subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. Uh, you Hit heard that it. subscribe button. We have a call out here. <laughs> we have a we have a small sp- sponsors of call out. It didn't cost us that much. It cost us four grand. Uh, if you'd like to say it now, what you want to tell the people what they need to do. Guys, just like and subscribe. Okay, it really helps. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe and we will love you forever. And then I'll tell you what, see if you subscribe and you push hard enough, we might even send you a pancake mix. A large pancake. A large pancake. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's for you. We can't promise it because there's a lot of EU laws now with pancakes yeah. and... I know sausages. <laughs> she, could you give? I'm sorry, I'm from Essex and I can't get six sausages over. I like, I like to say, love a good sausage. You know, what sausage. do you do? Like, what do you do? Like, you no. know. So what me and Eleanor is going to do just to fulfil this, this what we've just said there, yes. we'll send a canoe out. Right? We will. 
we'll four, smuggle outside. Four pigeons. I was about to say smuggle outside. Four pigeons. Outside. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> you know, every time you're sitting now, and you know, just before you go, you know, every time you're sitting there and you, you have to meet the sausage, or what did you say earlier on? Hit the sausage. <laughs> meet the sausage. <laughs> I'm only a That's sausage. how I got over blushing. To I'm only a sausage. Just let me be. I don't deserve to be cooked up and that. All I wanted to do was be a party casualty. I just wanted to be the person that be the lorry. I just wanted to be taken in and sliced up. Oh, he can't breathe. Hit him there. Squeeze it out. But well, thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, Patty. You'll be the star. And thanks, everybody. And subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.